Palestinians are in the midst of a genocide perpetrated by Israel who have the full active backing and support of the United States and many other white supremacist colonialist nations. You can help by going to GazaEsims.com and purchasing SIM cards to be used by residents of Gaza as the IDF and other world powers attempt to institute a communications blackout so their crimes against humanity are less visible. Nothing else matters if we normalize this. Hello world and all who inhabit it. My name is Jessica, my pronouns are she, her, and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Double Progression Trouble. Trans women are the most powerful gamers of all. You aren't gonna see any of the silly misplays, failures to read, and dumb goofs of other progression series. No, you're only gonna see the absolute top tier of flawless Yu-Gi-Oh! gameplay. And please don't hold me to that, I'm actually really stupid. Uh... Normal summon Jinso number seven. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to normal summon Raging Flame Sprite. <laughs> sure. I would love to activate the effect of Human Wave Tactics. Thank you very much. What in Christ's name are you summoning? And from my deck, I would love to summon a Moki Moki. Let's, uh, take out Shining Flare Wingman with Master of Oz. Behold, Laudian Turbulence. Oh, no. I'm going to send from my deck to the graveyard, Elemental Hero Neos. No shit. In order to summon Legendary Flame Lord. I'm, I'm so close. Uh, I'm no so shit. Sophie, apparently. Soph, Sophie, I am going to normal summon Jerry Beans, man. <laughs> Literally throwing for content. <laughs> Earthbound Immortal Axela Piscu. To exceed summon Evolzar Lagia. Oh my fucking god! We're gonna declare the effect Not of Gaga 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 Damn it. Sophie, I am going to special summon the level 7 no fusion way. monster that is still no, legal. No way. The last warrior from another planet! Huh? Ah! No! No, wait, 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 no! Sophie, get ready for magical hats! What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I'm an insane. I do not have damage juggler. Sophie, I have something much better than that. Spear Kariba! Here's Submarine Frog! God of Wetlands, beef baby, my boy! On an end phase, we will be summoning the Dark Eclipser. Yeah, you know, you know, you know. Um, the fourth, the greatest of the trains! Number 81, Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon, Superior Dora! Alright, now we will normal summon Suprex, special summoning <laughs> Twist mean? Cobra. <laughs> Three copies of Insect Knight from my hand, deck, or graveyard. <laughs> There were a couple variations on Cyber's uh, pile that I could do, but none were as yeah. cool as Orbital Hydra. Yeah, it's back, it's fucking back. Kinky Rexel, my boy. Uh, beefy Link 3 man. does a bunch of things. Uh, look at how buff that guy is. Oh my god, Jesus look at Christ. his thighs. That man could squish I'm you. I'm surprised that and we he didn't would. burst over this guy more. Welcome to Double Progression Trouble, the show where my co-host Sophie apparently and I double up on Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression. How it works is we each pull at least 48 packs of Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, or 24 packs from two booster sets at a time, moving chronologically through the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! We then play two best of three matches before moving on to the next two booster sets. The series is divided into seasons based on the eras of the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. At the end of each era, we hold our final matches to determine the true champion, then reset the points and do it all over again. Between games, we ban cards and pull extra packs, constantly upgrading and updating our strategies to stay on top of an always shifting metagame. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Double Progression Trouble! Hello, world, and all who inhabit it! My name is Jessica J, aka Jesse J. 
place. I am joined, as always, by my co-host, Sophie, apparently, as well as Sophie Moki, her daughter, son, uh, child unit, and folks, <laughs> this is the last episode of Double Progression Trouble. Yo, what the fuck? As always, we will be playing two <laughs> matches, but because this is a finale episode, there are five points on the line. First, we will play a match that is a culmination of the format that Sophie and I have been building throughout the Sevens era. You know, we ban uh, to kind of limit the power level of the format, but also to create a format that is fun to play in. To create an environment that Sophie and I will enjoy ourselves and enjoy what we are building. And the three-point match will be the match we play in that format have we done a good job what is left in the format did we forget shit did we uh build something creative that is the culmination of all that has come before and then we throw it all in the fucking trash we throw 100 percent of it in the garbage we ban 75 Yu-Gi-Oh cards and then we play one more match with something that we uh have not uh previously <laughs> considered playing whatsoever or something that we considered playing, but truly could not. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Truly shocking that we're here. Um, this is the final episode of Double Progression Trouble. Um, what the fuck? Uh... Yeah, yeah! Um, um and I, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> in, in game, in game, in game, YouTube. Um, and so, I don't know well, why in, I'm trying to like appeal to YouTube. I already said fuck in the intro. In real life, YouTube, not in the game. Ban Sophie, no. apparently. Don't, no, no, ban, no, no, no. don't ban me for posting this content. <laughs> ban the woman whose username is in the video title. Folks, come on, come on. We are gonna be uh, doing a lot of stuff in this video. We're gonna play one match, we're gonna ban a shitload of cards, and then we're gonna play another match. But you may be wondering, what did we build for that first match? We're yammering on about a first match. We aren't uh, pulling any Yu-Gi-Oh cards, though. So what on earth did we build for those first matches? Well, that's kind of a funny story. And it goes a little something, maybe, possibly, like this. <laughs> Best we of get all time. up considering three different decks and i'm gonna take a second to show y'all the ones that didn't quite make it first of all we've got cyber soup once again with the goal of summoning out firewall dragon singularity i wish tcg has attempted to help me cook up a list along these lines a couple times over the course of this era but this is the most consistent it has ever been previously the issue was that we really wanted a level two out on the board to get cyber's integrator into rotation to make the combo a extend longer which there wasn't really a consistent way for us to ensure that but now we have link cross which gives us a couple of level one tokens we can reliably synchro summon with this deck has a couple things going for it it may actually be the strongest thing i considered whenever it truly gets going all you need is three cyber bodies and one spell card and the one thing i like about this brew is that specifically we need a spell card in the graveyard in order to resolve the effect of cyber switch so we're actually running the bamboo cards which is a really nice little resource engine of equip cards in the end i decided against this particular brew it's very strong but we've seen cyber soup a couple of times on this show it's very funny that this deck is still playable despite the 10 or 15 cyber extenders we banned at the end of reigns but in terms of content and in terms of the last episode of double progression trouble i don't know that this would uh be that interesting to watch i just do a wombo combo turn one I hopefully get out Firewall Dragon Singularity with like six or seven negates. Sophie either has the Kaiju or she doesn't and possibly just loses from that position. Combine that with the fact that there is one hard brick. If we draw a Cynet Ritual, we pretty much eat shit and die because we can't resolve the effect of Cyber Switch. It's a small thing, but it did come into consideration. So we're not going to be bigger than ever this time, but what we almost were was extremely EP. That's right, I strongly considered running back Nemleria. I still think this deck is really, really solid. We didn't get a chance to see it pop off because Sophie was playing a deck that was too weak for us 
us to get to the uh, Dreaming Nemleria uh, Zenith, uh, the place where she was able to banish six cards. And we were testing out a version of this deck that actually ran a small Tistina engine, which was very interesting. Cute little deck, but in the end, we have seen it before. What we haven't seen before is Raid Raptor, and that brings us to the deck I'm actually playing. So yeah, we did miss a couple of super rares that would have made this deck better than it is and a little bit more consistent, but nonetheless, we still got a couple of new Raid Raptors that are going to take this strategy to the next level. Some really powerful negation traps, a new wonderful main deck body in Strangolanius, and of course, Rising Rebellion Falcon. Now, we can't XZ summon this card, but we can special summon it with the rank 7, so we're going to try to do that. We've got three Fuzzy Lanius. This one's a little bit awkward because it full Raid Raptor locks us, but you know, we use the names we gotta. Three Mimicry Lanius, three Noir Lanius, one Strangle Lanius, and then one Pain Lanius. This one is a level one, but it summons itself as a level four if you target any of these guys and summon it. Two Sharp Lanius, three Vanishing Lanius, then in addition to all that, we've got three Samorg Bird of Perfection. This is just a dark wing beast that functions as a free special summon. And two Booster Strix. This one is not amazing. It doesn't have any independent special summon effect, but I didn't love our monster ratio. So we are just running it because there are times where having two Raid Raptors makes all the difference. And that reason is Raid Raptor Nest. If you have two Raid Raptors on the field, you get to search a third from your hand. This is a continuous spell so you can do it every turn to keep your advantage up we've got three raid raptor roost this is actually a wonderful card if a raid raptor is special summoned from the extra deck we get to search a raid raptor card from deck to hand which can be uh, one of our new powerful trap cards we've got one rank up magic raptors force this one's a little bit weird because it needs to happen whenever one of our raid raptor xe's monsters are destroyed uh but it's a way to rank up into the higher rank raid raptors similarly rank up magic skip for Force lets us go two ranks higher, which is often the way that we're going to get into the rank seven if we are getting into the rank seven. We're playing the Allure of Darkness, not amazing some of the time to banish like the very Raid Raptor you were trying to draw, but we run the consistency cards we have. Three Swallows Cowry can help us get the right Raid Raptor into rotation and has some pretty decent synergies with the deck. Three Glorious Bright, a very powerful trap card, and one Knight's Claw, similar a great trap that works whenever you have a dark Xyz monster which is all of the raid rafters and then one raiders unbreakable mind as a way to search out the raid raptor cards or as a way to destroy Sophie's cards uh, in the extra, we've got the Raider's Knight, we've got the Arc Rebellion Xyz Dragon, we've got the Rise Falcon, we've got the Fiend Eagle, Blaze Falcon, Stranger Falcon, Revolution Falcon, Revolution Falcon, Air Raid, Arsenal Falcon, Ultimate Falcon, Rising Rebellion Falcon, and then we've also got Vespinado as well as SP Little Knight, Geonator Transverser, and Rotan the Heavenly General. In the side, we've got two Thunder King, three Twister, two more Raiders Unbreakable mind two raid raptor readiness three raptors gusts if we need negates that are more focused on spell and trap cards and three chithodi and palmer to steal sophie's fusions i'm really excited to see how this one goes uh let's see what we can do did you really think only putting one skull solvent was gonna stop me no 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 folks we are running out the scullies for the finale of dpt sevens for the finale of the last season for the finale of Double Forgetting Rubble. It's been a long time coming, and I cannot think of a more fitting way to kick off this two-part finale than with a card I have been waiting for since episode one. We only have the one Skull Solvent, and that fact does make this deck weaker. I won't lie about that, but it turns out it's still good enough. See, the Skull Solvent package, even though its ceiling is lowered with only one of Skull Solvent and White Baking, its floor is still pretty good. It still has the ability to use things like White Prints to generate a decent amount of Link material, and on follow-up turns, OTK was a massive king. And it turns out, that's like an alright payoff, and Zombie has been sitting on a bunch of really powerful cards that have just been waiting for anything resembling a strong payoff. 
Yuna Zombie, Samurai Sword, and Shinobi Necro are all incredible cards in a vacuum that just haven't had anything to do. And it turns out those cards make the deck so consistent that it doesn't matter if the ceiling isn't super high, and the Skull Servant finally gives these cards a reason to be played. The last part of the deck that brings it all together is the Bestials. These guys have gotten shockingly little success in the series given how powerful they are, but in this deck I think they're gonna sweat their stuff. They do everything. They're beaters, they're synchro material, and most importantly, they let us play triple branded regained, which is a really important card in the deck. That effect to put a vanished monster back on the bottom of the deck is huge. It allows us to recycle our one of Skull Servant and the one of White Baking so that we can continue playing in a grind game we normally run out of resources. Beyond that, we're playing some cards to enable us to play a strategy where we're gonna play slow early make sure Jack cannot kill us, and then blow her up with a big all king. To that end, I'm on Where Off Thou for consistency, Where Legacy Survivor as a mill engine, and both White Princess and Shiranui style Samsara function as basically Wabokus to guarantee we don't die, and then we get to play the Terrors package as additional defensive tools. In the extra, we have a bunch of synchros, a couple of rank ones, and a whole bunch of Xyz. Our normal end board's not gonna look too crazy, it's probably just gonna be a floater like Dark plus a big king. That's ideally something like a white princess to make sure death can't kill us through it. And then in the side, we have some pretty normal stuff. We're fighting in a swallow slash package when we know we're going first, as well as out of the blue to be graveyard decks. The twisters and a going second package of the classic kaijus, and then three copies of psychic fervor, which allows king to OTK incredibly easily even if we only have one turn to set up. I am really excited for this deck. This is one I've been waiting for longer than any other deck in the series, really. And while it's not at full power, I think it is strong enough. Let's see if we can prove to Jack that this white is indeed baking. Welcome back, YouTube! Um, I always get kind of nervous going into the finale matches, and that makes a certain amount of sense because they are worth three points and they're a combination of what has come before us, but um, today is different because it's the last one. We have right. done six of these, and similar to the first episodes, I talked about this previously when we started sevens, I have won three finale <laughs> matches and you have won three finale matches so in a sense oh this is the finale finale wow the finale of all finales <laughs> you know i am excited for this one like i wasn't sure this was gonna go like you know what happened right i i really wanted to play score servant <laughs> i pulled one score servant in like 45 lob packs over the course of the series <laughs> and then i was like fuck what am i gonna do this this is a real problem. And then I was scrolling through my collection, and like a lightning bolt, the answer came to me. And I'm ready to kick your ass today and prove that I am the true champion of finales. I mean, <laughs> please do not look at our record in any other category. <laughs> Sophie is good at the first, good at the last. Uh, don't, don't, don't ask too many questions about the middle. But then, you know, the people only remember the first and last word of any sentence. That's true. Um, piss. That's why I'm waiting for your rock paper scissors shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. Ooh okay. An intriguing start. Oh, Ooh. Okay. No. <laughs> oh, she knew. She has my number. Out. I I am uh I have a video camera into your bedroom right now. We're going to go first. I'm not even in my bedroom. This oh. is like my living room. <laughs> Wait, who the fuck is that? Okay, stand by main what? and I <laughs> it's spooky, it's spooky. This is, this is the kind of reverence the finale to dog. Um Yeah, I think this hand Um I don't think it does everything, but it does some stuff, and some stuff is better than no stuff. Um, so yeah, we are gonna go. Uh, Sophia, I'm gonna start by activating the continuous spell card, Raid Raptor Roost. 
<laughs> Yo, we got some birds going on. <laughs> we are doing a little bit of birds this time around, folks. And what we are going to do with those birds is we are going to yeah fuck it um we are going to normal summon uh this is a new one i think it was in specifically phantom nightmare uh raid raptor noir lanius yo we're going to declare its effect and <laughs> add <laughs> sure this guy looks why does this guy look like that yeah, I don't know what the fuck is going on. He looks well, like a fucking Zubini. <laughs> he looks not you, he doesn't look like a Zumbini. He looks like he was the same design philosophy as Zumbini. It looks like there were he's part of a race of people where there is a total of five different options for his head, arms, legs and uh <laughs> like some other feature. <laughs> <laughs> we can we add a uh, Raid Raptor with a different level from deck to hand, so we'll go Raid Raptor Pain Lanius. Oh, how painful. We probably just do that then. Yeah, okay. Um, We are going to special summon Raid Raptor Pain Lanius by taking mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. damage equal to the defense. Um... Yes. So we're going to take 500, and Pain Lanius is a level 4 monster now. We're going to special summon oh, Fuzzy yeah. Lanius. Yo, what's so fuzzy? <laughs> um, and we will go into some XZ's plays now, baby. We are going to make... What are we going to make? Um... Yeah, that's fine. We will make the guy who I just got in uh, re-rolling uh, Secrets of Eternity. Uh, here's Raid Raptor Rise Falcon. Yo, that bitch rising. We declare the effect of Roost, and we will add from deck to hand um, <laughs> a Raid Raptor card. No, I'm sorry. It's ever since I think Emperor's Dove pointed it out, I do love that the art of Roost is just a mimicry Lanius screaming at a pile of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you so mad about, bud? Okay. What did the trash this do to you? This card is actually really strong. You can't just do that now. It's hilarious. I can and I will. <laughs> okay. I know that's a bad thing for it to be. Yeah, it's just gonna be Raid Raptor Phantom Knight's Claw. Oh? Um, oh! Yeah. Oh, I see! We will set one card, and yeah, we have a negate. <laughs> we do indeed. And an intriguing situation it puts me in indeed. Uh, but I have some stuff I can do. I'm gonna go stand by main. Um, and Jess, as I said, I found an answer I'm very happy with after my score solvent pause didn't go the way I wanted to. And that answer was, of course, to play it anyway, baby! Unison, no! go! No! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, okay. Sure. <laughs> oh, we are doing it. I will activate the effect of Unizombie targeting itself to send from deck. Is that okay? The funny part, um, does this send from deck as cost? No, 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 it's a fact. Okay, um... Unizombie is really interesting. Theoretically, it would be correct to wait for something a little bit more high impact, but sending two things, one from deck, the other from hand, and it also being a tuner, can get a little bit out of hand. This is a good card. Um, if anything, I'm kind of glad you're playing this uh, deck because I was thinking about banning Unizombie anyway. Um, <laughs> this card is good. Yeah, fuck it. We'll, we'll go for it. We will detach... Um, Goodbye to my friend. Fuzzy Lanius. And then I think Fuzzy Lanius, Fuzzy Lanius is if this card is sent to the graveyard. Yeah. Yep. So we get to add a Fuzzy Lanius from deck to hand. Yeah. Um, and your Rise Falcon gains 1,300 attack points, which is fun. That's true. Um, That is definitely the most important part of the interaction that has happened here. Um, hey. Dude, my cats are losing the shit in the background. They know that tonight's a big deal. They do, they do. Alright, well you start my normal summon, which is somewhat of an issue, but not the most an issue. Because see, the thing about Skull Solvent is that while the engine itself is missing some pieces, 
it has a lot of stuff it synergizes with, such as Yuna Zombie and Friends, um, and such as good friend uh, Bisty or Baldrake targeting your fuzzy. Hilarious. Uh, yeah, that will work. Baldrake, go! <laughs> Alrighty. Get your bard out the graveyard. Oh, you can do it yourself. Oh, can I do it myself? Yeah. Oh, I can. You literally, Someone told me that. From day one, you have been able to do that yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just, you know, it's funnier if I don't, I think. It, it would be disrespectful <laughs> to touch your cards. Um, anyway, I'm gonna fucking kill your bud. How could you do this? I've done it. And, uh, you know, what's done it, what's done Alright, stand by main. Uh, we will start by going roost. Um, um, yeah. We're gonna target three raid raptor monsters that are banished in the graveyard. Uh, put them at the bottom of the deck in any order and then draw one card. Uh, so yeah, then it's just gonna be Pain Lanius and uh, Noir Lanius. That's it. Cool. Yeah. I'm going to go Swallows Cowry. Moo! We are going to. Weird card. Uh, weird uh, 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 name for a Yu Gi Oh card, but we are going to pitch the Sharp Lanius. Good thinking. And too sharp. Could be dangerous. Going to... <laughs> Do you have a single real joke? <laughs> You're <laughs> laughing at them, bitch. <laughs> so we're discovering a lot of things at the last episode. I'm gonna add mimicry, Lanius. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we are going to normal summon mimicry, Lanius. Mm hmm. We are going to special summon Fuzzy Lanius. Yup. We are going to... Oh, I'm a fucking dumbass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I should have done something last turn. Would you let me rewind back to your battle face? <laughs> or is that too uh... far? I did draw a card. I think it's too far at this point. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, if the drawing card changes the play, yeah. Well, the one card <laughs> just changes the uh, dynamics of this play significantly. <laughs> that may be an issue, then. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the problem... Uh, mm, but the problem is, I would lose my draw. Um, and I don't really want to do that. This is fascinating. We've made a lot of really interesting choices here. Yeah, um, you know, I, I, I think... I, th I think pretending you didn't sign out a combo piece is the limit of cheating we can do. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> um, we will declare the effect of mimicry lanes. I see. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some level five fellas. Yes, and now we will go for uh, Stranger Falcon. Wow, what a strange falcon. Okay. Any response to this? Uh, nope. Someone's fine. Okay. Um, okay, so we do get to resolve Roost here. Oh, that's so true. That's so correct. This card goes crazy. Yeah, we will go Raid Raptor Glorious Bright. We will that, yeah. set one card, and uh, we will pass it to you for now. Interesting. Okay. Um, I'll draw for turn. Okay, 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 okay. Um... Hmm. The question is, what order do I want to do this, ready? Can I do more if I go that way? I guess I want to try to play around this. Uh, let's see if she has any international hand or anything. Um, I'm just going to go straight to battle phase. Sure. Um, and we'll try to go Baldrake into the stranger. Okay, this was the motherfucking thing I forgot to do earlier. Booster Strix! Oh. Alright, alright. Um, the Strix does get banished. Oh, yeah. That doesn't matter too much with my spell cards text, but that is Yeah. Great. Okay, so we still have to contend with the negate, which is annoying. Um, alright, I am gonna go, um, Bestial Sarnia, targeting my own Unizombie. Wah! And now, witness as I summon the White Prince! <laughs> Oh, what a fucking cutie pie. Uh, this is fine. 
And now, the dance of the whites begins. <laughs> I will link away my bestiosomania and my white prince to summon Doc the Doc Charmer, gloomy. <laughs> and then, because white prince went to the graveyard, I'll activate its effect to send a lady in white and a scald servant from hand or deck to graveyard. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I will send to the graveyard. Firstly, the lady in white, and then my one and only comrade, the Skull <laughs> Servant. Single copy of Skull Servant. For my next trick, I will activate Dark the Fact, targeting your sharp lanius. This is interesting because I can go Glorious Bright, um, but uh, then you still have the White Prince banish for some extension. I can indeed summon my king out of the deck, my motherfucking king. It will have a thousand attack points in that situation, but it. Oh, no, I would have zero attack points, to be clear. White Prince banishes two Skull Servants plus itself. Oh! Oh my goodness. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh. We are just chilling for now. Okay, okay. I will special summon the Sharp Lanius. Yeah. Um, and that does make things interesting, given that I know you have the glorious bright. Um, so that that is a continuous trap, right? No, it's it's just a no, it's no. just a trap card, but it does have a graveyard effect. Right? Yeah. Let me see. You negate it. You can banish this card. Not the same okay. turn, but yeah. Interesting. Um, like because obviously the thing I'm thinking about here is just forcing it by going little knight. Um, actually, that's pretty good because. If I go Little Knight on Summon Banish, what? I think, wait. Yeah, it's gonna be Little Knight on Summon Banish. If you activate the Glorious Sprite, I just chain Little Knight's second effect. The question is, and I guess that is technically disruption as well. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. I will link away your Sharp Lanius and my dog, the dog Sharma or Gloomy. And I will link Summon SP Little Knight. Um, and on Summon, I will activate its effect um, I'm actually going to target the set Glorious, right? Interesting. Um, then I guess it would be actively incorrect to respond to this. Um, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, I will set one card, and I'll end my turn, baby. It's woman pass. Then, uh, main one. Battle phase attack. Damage step. I will activate the effect of White Princess. No! Come to reduce on! the attack of all monsters on the field by their own level times or rank Fuck times off. 300. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. Oh no, and I don't have another XZ's in Graveyard, so I can't do that, um... Um, you actually only take, uh, what, 1100 here? Because it uses 1500 attack? Oh, okay. Um, I mean, we will go Roost. Mm-hmm. Um... Alright, we will shuffle and we will draw one. The problem is, the Raid Raptors have floating a lot of them, but they gotta go to the fucking graveyard. Yeah, regrettably, the move is passed for now. It really do be like that. I will draw. Alright, standby main. Um, I guess the question now is how much can we do here? If I banish, I have to banish three to get into a king, that puts me on... Only one Scully in Grave at the moment, um, which is unnotably unimpressive, it does have to be said. Um, that would net us some more material, you know? I love material. Lots of stuff you can do with material. Uh, but not that much you can do with material Nothing right now, honestly. Nothing better with it than SP Little Knight. Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna do a little, little bit of a woman moment. <laughs> um, and then main phase two, we're gonna set one, and we are furthermore gonna set one. <laughs> I, I think I know it's that fucking zombie sarcophagus motherfucker. It's just. I mean, I, I do be putting the pussy in the sarcophagus. Fuck off. Oh, lordy. Um, okay. Um. We can start with Roost. 
Um, oh yeah, that's your three. Very nice. Oh, they're on the bottom of the deck. Might be. Yeah, yeah whatever. I, <laughs> it doesn't. I, don't think I believe in you to shuffle the deck. I really don't time. think. I really don't think it's gonna happen that way. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. Oh, so good in this situation. God, I love Sharplanius. <laughs> <laughs> Putting a card to defense mode is exactly yeah. what the doctor. I mean, admittedly, does. normal summon Sharplanius does threaten the SP. <laughs> yeah, but I have to contend with a back row interrupt. That is also true. That is also uh, true. This is the problem. So I'm trying to figure out. I can summon a guy with more than 1600. I'm trying to figure out what the best order to do that is. Fair. Um. Okay. Okay. I am going to normal summon Vanishing Lanius. I'm um, intriguing. That is fine. And I'm going to immediately reveal some more Bird of Perfection. Oh, okay, okay. Um. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. What a perfect bard. Very true, very true. Um. We will declare a Vanishing Lanius to special summon Noir Lanius. Yeah, I think. Um, an activation of that because, like, on activation of, like, I guess on activation of the vanishing, I don't know what you're gonna summon. It's a problem. Um, going on, going on we bit quick, but I guess oh, most sorry. of the raid battles attack of a little knight. Um, uh, no, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Lanius is fine. Um. Vanishing Lanius, I should say. Fucking half these shit off our Lanius. Uh, we will declare the effect of Noir Lanius, targeting itself. Um, I am actually gonna Little Knight on this, targeting the Noir and herself. Okay. Gotcha, yep, and, gotcha, gotcha. And that does deny the search, because at resolution it cannot check what level it is. Probably should. Oh, if I targeted another monster, you'd be able to SP that monster. Um, okay. Yeah, so. Yeah, okay. Um, let's go into Raiders Knight. Raiders Knight. Um, yeah, that's fine. We will go Raid Raptor Roost. Mm hmm. We will go Glorious Bright. Glorious. Could make Arc Rebellion, but it does. Uh, it loses to either Pussy in the Sarcophagus or Terrors of the Overroot. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's gotta be said. I guess we will set one and go to end phase? Um. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You get Go your uh, little off. knight back. Oh, yup, yup, and you get your Noir. And stand by main. Um. Interesting. I've drawn a card that, like, is really good. But not. Oh, actually, never mind. It is just really good. Full stop. Um. Okay. I am gonna activate the effect of White Prince in the graveyard. Sure. I will banish White Prince. Lady in white and white princess to summon a king from the deck. Yeah. Emerge, my liege, your majesty, the king of the score servants. He has a whole thousand attack points. This is true. <laughs> he has Sangan stats, folks. Oh, he really does. Uh, but we might be able to get it. Sarcophagus and bio. Very true. <laughs> Very true. I want to activate the spell card. Where art thou? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. Um, we're gonna add a level one monster. Oh, and I'm realizing we could do that too. Oh, that goes a bit brazy. I will add from my deck to my hand a very special card because you see, Jess, I don't know that I can say I cooked when I was building this deck, but you know this white was baking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I will normal summon white baking. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Then we're gonna do some other stuff. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to flip some in. It is not Pussy in the Sarcophagus, um, but your Raiders Knight wouldn't have done much, because it is the Lady in White. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got it. And now, I will link off my three members of the White family. <laughs> and summon 
Rotten, the Heavenly General. Ah, okay. So and now you either Rotten my Raiders Knight or the uh, SP goes off when I use Glorious Bright. That's the idea. And there's more, because when White Baking is sent to the graveyard, I'll add two different monsters that mention Skull Servant from my deck to my hand and then discard a card. Yeah. So I am going to grab, um, White Prince and White Mayor. Yeah, you got it. All right, all right. I will discard the White Prince and, um, you know, <laughs> not activate its discard effect. Um, <laughs> but that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna activate the effect of White Mayor in hand. I will discard it, um, and I'll target my Banished Lady in white to special summon it. Yeah, you got it. Come forth, my White Woman! Um, and we could extend a bit more, but there's not really a huge reason to. I'm fine. Um, just entering battle. And I will at start of battle declare Rotten. We are just gonna target the. Um,. I guess it's fourth of it out either way. I'm actually gonna target Roost here. We will go Glorious Bright on the Rotten. And. Uh, yeah, I might as well. I will chain Little Knight, target the Radar's Knight. Just to get rid of its sure. materials. Um, we'll go Rotten over Noir. Alright, I'm not feeling terrible about this. Um, I'll go to End Phase and we can get our friends back. Alright. Standby main. Um, I mean, we'll start by normal summoning Sharplanius. Uh, that. Um. Yeah, start of battle. Our Rotten targeting the radars. Yeah. And. I don't have any graveyard shit, right? Um, uh, we'll attack SP Little Light? I actually have to think here, because, I'll tell you, I have something to protect the SPs of a world where I choose not to. I guess, actually, because you can do that, but that doesn't really stop me from doing the thing I want to, per se. This might be insanely stupid. Um, I will let you clear the SP. Okay, <sighs> we will go to main phase two. Um, um, I'm going to think of the way. Yeah, because I can do that. Um, end of the battle phase. I'm going to activate a funny little card. I am talking about not Terrors of the Overrut, but Terrors of the Afterrut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, sure. A bunch of things going to happen. I'm going to target a monster in your graveyard. I'm going to choose some more Blood of Protection. Or Blood of Perfection. I'm going to summon that to your field. Then I'm going to banish a monster you control, which is going to be the Shark. And then I'm going to return a banished monster to your graveyard, which is also going to be the shop. <laughs> um, sure. Which is a convoluted way of meaning you no longer control a rave raptor monster. That is true for sure. Cool. So we will go raid raptor roost. Chain over, right? Jesus. Okay. Um, I'll set the raid off night. All right. as hell okay it's fine i'm unconcerned that is so fair oh, that's not a bad one uh stand by main uh we're gonna try to do some stuff here i will now declare white prince yeah uh we're gonna go white prince lady in white and white mayor and the king of the skull servants shall rise once more yeah at a Slightly more impressive, 3,000 attack points. Yeah, he's getting bigger. It's a little <laughs> bit worrisome. That is the goal. Um, if I did that, it would be, like, insanely funny. It would be so fucking funny. Um, and... You know what? I think we are gonna do it. Um, in order to make my king bigger, um, I will be tribute summoning this Deodruis swamp. <laughs> so true. Uh, I think you just have lethal here, right? Yeah, let's see if we I can make I... it happen. I'll rotten. Oh, dear. <laughs> my folks. king. Oh, no. Oh, man. Got SP, my girl. You made it to the Mega Band. You're not making it any farther. <laughs>
was that a little bit more SP Turbo than Skull Servant? <laughs> Maybe. Was that you my know. possibly my mistake for playing a graveyard focused archetype in a <laughs> SP Little Knight format? Who knows? Uh, but one thing I do know is I'm going first, and uh, Hell, this yeah. time we simply have it. Um. Ooh, I mean, we do have some stuff. We do have a decent amount of stuff. It's gotta be said. Okay. Uh, Raid Raptor Nest. Yep, yep, it's a good one. Okay, so we go Noir Lanius, um, mm -hmm. and we're gonna special summon some more Bird of Perfection in the process. Add Pain Lanius. Now that's so true. Um, we will special summon the Pain Lanius, um, which is now four, by targeting the Noir Lanius, which is gonna be 500s. Uh-huh, 500. Um, and then we can go Raid Raptor Nest. Yep. And we can do... Yeah, that works. Um, Raid Raptor, uh, Strangle Lanius. I wish it wouldn't do that. Um, like, I... I... <laughs> yeah, we're getting increasingly violent with these Laniuses. Um, I'm going to dark lock myself for the rest of turn by some Oh no! Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be a huge problem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. will... Um... Yeah, we will overlay for um, Raider's Knight. Yeah. And we will declare the effect of Raider's Knight. We will detach Noir Lanius. And we will make Arc Rebellion XZ's Dragon. Yo, there it is! Um... And we will declare Strangle Lanius. Yup. To special summon the Noir Lanius. And... We will overlay for a uh, defense position Rise Falcon. We will set one card and send it back your way. Hey, da da. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, this is a pretty good one. Uh, step one is gonna be to Thunder King the Rise Falcon. God damn it, okay. Uh, whoop. And now that that's done, uh, you know, it's Unizombie. Yeah, that's fine. Um, our Unizombie descend from deck. Yeah. And I will send to the graveyard. You know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be white baking. And I will then trigger the effect of white baking. You got it. Okay, so I'm gonna grab white prince and white mayor. There you are. Um, then I'll discard the white prince. And activate the effect of White Prince to assemble the Whites. Alright, we're gonna dump Lady in White, we're gonna dump Skull Servant. Um, next, I wanna activate an old friend of mine. The Continuous Spell Card, Branded Regained. Yeah, you got it. Um, and I'll trigger White Prince. Yeah, that's all good, I'm gonna banish Prince, Lady in White, Skull Servant. That's going to summon a king from deck, and then I'll trigger a regain to put the score servant on the bottom of the deck and draw one. <laughs> <laughs> He's back, baby! <laughs> it's no, who, who cares if we only have one skull servant? We're bringing it back! This is the plan. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, okay, okay. The unit army's level 4. Let me keep track of that. Our next step, I am going to white mayor. Targeting the banished lady in white. Yeah. I will special summon her. Then I will activate Where Art Thou? Yes. Um, that's gonna add from deck to hand. Um, where are you, bud? I know you're in here. Yo, what the fuck? Where'd it go? <laughs> Buddy? Wait, did I fucking. Oh! Okay, no, that was an intentional decision. I can't be mad about that one. Okay, I remember thinking, yeah. I'll slide out the second white prince. It's like, only rare hands actually trigger it twice. Um, and I'm seeing <laughs> the issue with that choice. Um, but that is fine by me. I would add white prince 
Oh, that's not level one monster, which is a good reason not to add it. I cannot um, believe White Princess <laughs> beats Arc Rebellion Xyz Dragon. It really does. This All right, I'm gonna be so insanely honest with you. I'm adding Vanilla Skullsoft into my hand. <laughs> Very real. Very true. Oh, that's not the one that goes to grave. Okay. Um, you yeah, that means I may have fucked this up slightly. Uh, but that's fine, because I didn't fuck it up that much, I think. Um, yeah, I will Unizombie pitching Skull Servant to increase his level again. You got it. Um, which means we are now setting on a nice, solid 3k attack on the king. You know, not bad. Not bad. By some definitions of not bad. Um... Now, annoyingly, I could go into that, but unfortunately, my level 8 synchro is Stardust, who doesn't line up particularly well in this board state. Yeah, I think the best play is just going to be to keep things a little bit simple. I'm going to link off Unizombie and Lady in White. <sighs> that does it. Um, go into Dark. Uh, that will put my king up to 4,000. Um, oh, and we, we ready can't just do this shit again, huh? Um, dark targeting. Do any of these have grave effect? Um, doesn't matter, I'm just gonna link it off. Whatever, um, I'm gonna take a strangolania, so I too can imagine strangulation. <laughs> For sure. Um, and I, uh, you know, stop me if you've seen this one before. I'm gonna, uh, make SP Little Knight. <laughs> Um, I am gonna stop you, because right. I've seen this before. Oh! Oh, this really is any Dark Exceeds monster! <laughs> oh, I'm dead. You still fucking clear the Arc Rebellion. No, I don't. Oh, no, oh, no I do, because you didn't detach the Raid Raptor. I see, I see. Jesus fucking Christ. Um... Wait, what? Because uh, the, the other side of Claw... What? Like, if you detach Radar's Knight, it, this puts, um... Oh, shit! The Arc Rebellion above yeah, yeah, King. Yeah, yeah, never mind, never mind, never mind. We're good, we're good. I thought this was one... I am in, like, these motherfuckers all have, like, um, need to... Um, these motherfuckers all have need an XZ's as an XZ's material mode. But, yeah, that's actually yeah. pretty good. This goes up to 5,000? Um, again, 1,600 off okay. the SP. 40, so 4,600. It's slightly too large. <laughs> no, I think I actually did... I actually kind of screwed myself by forgetting I wasn't playing the second White Prince. So what I should have done was Branded regained back the White Prince, because then I could activate the White Mayor in hand, targeting the Skull Servant, and get my king to 5,000. Um, but you know, sometimes in life, ah, uh, you fuck up, you know? <laughs> You really do fuck up. All right, that's fine. I'm not concerned. Um, I'm gonna clear the kaiju. Yeah, we'll take 700. Yeah. God, really regretting not kaijuing the Arc Rebellion now, but I was trying to play around Glorious, right? Which needs a Raid Raptor specifically. Um, listen, it's not an amazing situation for me. I can admit this. Um, I will... Set one, proceed to end phase, and take 2,000 off wear off because I didn't normal summon a monster whose original name is Skull Servant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you say that, but Terror is still clears. Oh, but that it is does. going to help. Uh, Raid Raptor Roost. Um, we're just gonna on activation twist all that shit. <laughs> um, well, that's a good news, bad news situation, to be honest. Um... Yeah, no, the claw is permanent. This guy is gonna be so fucking big. <laughs> um, mm. and we, I mean, Arc Rebellion does get to gain attack. No, it does, because it, it gains attack and then negates, and King does modify its original attack points, so... It sure will gain the attack of this King. <laughs> oh. Okay, oh. then, um attack with other monsters the if we could attack with other monsters we would definitely have lethal yeah um, i mean it's gonna be close i'm only at 55 i'm just a little guy i really would have liked it if the roost went off if i'm being if i'm being honest yeah. 
Uh, yeah, Listen, I guess we, I guess we do. not having a monster with attack points, yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, I guess we should, uh, just get the damage in while we can. Yeah. Um, cool. Well, I'll eat 4,600. <laughs> um. Okay. And I will use the effect of King to banish a Skull Solvent to revive itself, because it was destroyed by battle. That's true, it's still at 3k. That's like now, Unfortunately, though, I cannot regain in the damage step, so I won't be drawing one off this. <laughs> okay. Um... Oh, is this a permanent attack game? Yep. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh well Terra still clears. It does, but I do need to, but I do need to out an eighty six hundred guy that can't be destroyed by card effects. Let's see how that goes. I'll draw for turn. Alright, step one, I'm gonna activate the effect of white mail, targeting the banished lady in white. Yeah. Well summon this. King goes up to four thousand. Yeah. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> we are literally gaming. Um, this is the DPT finale: Raid Raptor versus Single Skin Skull Serpent. We are really gaming. We are really, really gaming. Um, God, it's unfortunate. This is. I'm like real close. I can. This is shocking. I will tell you. I can get this king up to 6,000 attack right now, and that does not do it. <laughs> um, that is unbelievable. Actually, a huge problem. I didn't get to draw off the regain last turn. I um, cannot believe... I, <laughs> the, I am... Uh, the Raid Raptor strat has become to out attack point Skull Surf. <laughs> it is! Legitimately! Holy oh my shit. god, dude. God, I'm pretty sure if I remember I played one Prince, I would have at least been in a better spot, because I would have been put this back. I would have had another Skull Soul in the grave. But even then, I still think I would have only had it at 7,000. It's not enough! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um. Oh my god. Hmm. See, I do kind of have a line. It's just not like. Fun. Um, Endor requires doing, you know, the most cringe line of all time. But I really don't think I can do that, right? My win condition is retaining these guys. Yeah, I don't know, I, I... I'm so excited, shocked, and appalled to tell you that I'm passing. Okay, um... Beat my guy who's kind of a Marshmallow. Oh, that is a <laughs> hilarious way to win the game. We're gonna Kaiju in attack mode. <laughs> Oh, not the going first kaiju, <laughs> believe all. It worked! Okay! Oh my god, what a game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Alright, game three. One more time, folks. Alright, game three. I'm assuming you're gonna be going first for this one. Yes, Good I luck, am. have fun. You as well, and... Hmm... Well, we have found the roughly 25% chance to not open a one-card starter. How much of a problem is that going to be for me? Um, maybe actually a lot of one. But not the most of one. Um, because if I do this, I can do... God, it would be insanely funny to just do that and pass. Actually, no, that is the play. Astounding. I will normal summon white mayor. <laughs> <laughs> Where off <are> thou? <laughs> yeah. For sure, yeah. homie. And it's unfortunately, the deck has stuff to do when it gets going. It does struggle if it doesn't have a way to get going. Um, hilariously, it will be white baking. Because this card can discard itself to yeah. prevent... A guy from being destroyed. You, you know, this would be like if the, if the, you were going second and you had different cards. This would be a Zeus line. God, it really would be. Um, I, I am gonna just um uh, go to end phase and take two thousand. Holy <laughs> shit! Okay, the hand is awkward. We've drawn two cards that I really don't want to see in the opener. All right. Um, I think we can make this work. Swallows cowrie. 
Moo. Uh, booster Strix. Like booster decks. They they just they just don't they just don't stop being good is the thing about them. Um, yeah, we will go vanishing lanius. Yeah. We will activate raid raptor roost. Er. We will. No <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> you good? I, I know. You, you know. Sometimes you have to just make a noise of mild alarm. Uh, we're gonna declare vanishing lanius. Yeah. We will yeah. go mimic Wanna put your cavalry away? Um, <laughs> the officer asked. <laughs> um, we are going to... We can go mimicry into a five, but I actually think the line is to go um, Raider's Knight. Uh, this will trigger mm -hmm. the Roost. Oh, it surely does do that. Yeah, because this is technically a Raid Raptor card. Uh, we will add from deck to hand, uh, Raid Raptors, Phantom Knight's Claw. Um, yeah. we will declare Raider's Knight, we will detach the Vanishing Lanius, and we're actually for right now, uh, I think going to make, a uh, Stranger Falcon. Interesting. Um, we will... Uh, declare the effect. Destroy White Mare. I will use the effect of White Baking to protect it. Sure. And then, I'll activate the effect of White Baking, because it went to the graveyard. <laughs> and now before we really get Baking, baby, I'm going to search my deck for White Prince and White Princess. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Then I'll it. discard the white prince off the rest of the baking of the fact. Um, use that effect. I will dump Skull Servant, and uh, you may see part of the problem. Um, Lady in White from Hand. Oh no! Oh dear. Uh, we'll go for the attack. Um, let's see. So I'm gonna take 17. So I could white princess here to save some damage. It doesn't put the. But. No, I think legitimately, I need I need to normal summon the white princess next time. <laughs> um, so I'll take seventeen. That's fine. Okay. Uh, we um, will. Yeah. End of main phase. End of battle phase here. Yeah. I am going to magnamute the mimicry. Um. Yeah. Wham. Um, end phase, you get to add a dragon. That's pretty good. Yeah. We will set one, set two, set three. And I guess before we leave, we can roost. You surely can. This is actually good because it gets darks out of my graveyard. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll pass it. Um, an end phase, I will search a dragon, and it's gonna be my good friend, Bestial Drew S1. Oh, got yeah, yeah, Drew S1, that's the one. Draw! Okay, okay, okay. Alright, we're gonna try to do something a little funky, a little silly. You know I have a um, Phantom Knight's Claw in yeah. the back row. Which I don't love, but you know, what am I gonna do about it? Alright, I'm actually not going to run out the White Princess yet. I will normal summon the Tuna Monster, Shinobi Necro. Uh, yeah, you got it. Um, and I will tune my level 2 Shinobi Necro and the level 6 Magnemoot, and I will Synchro summon old friend of mine, Stardust Dragon. Okay, you got it. And... I guess I'm going to do that, but we might as well try to do this first. Actually, no, I don't want to do that, because I don't want to be the one to destroy your strange old falcon in this case, really. Um... But what let me make more plays? Keep it of a tough call if I... go to battle here or not. So the strange old falcon will die... I'll in this end raider. phase. Off Raider's Night. Um... And then it wouldn't float. But if I don't kill it, I can't fucking do shit. Because <laughs> you have 7,000 back row. No, I think I have enough stuff I do want to try to actually play the game. 
I will go to battle phase. Yeah. Actually, wait, no, I won't. Because if I do this, you just do it and summon back the guy. And then you still have a Raid Raptor monster. I always feel like I treat it as a Raid Raptor. Literally zero reason to go to battle phase here, actually. I, I think there is some reason, if you believe hard enough. Oh, well, I, well I'm not smart enough to see it. Um, so I am <laughs> just going to set one and proceed to end phase. Aw, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, draw for turn. <laughs> it's been so long, but we are still Stardust passing, baby. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh-oh. Oh no. <laughs> I right. see. You were you were a little awkward yes, yeah. uh the the first turn. <laughs> now okay. it is my turn. I am fine with where I am now. I will normal summon white princess. Yeah. And I'll use her effect on summon to send a white prince from Dr. Graveyard. You got it. Uh, what is going to load up the grave a bit? I can't activate it, but you know, that's okay. We are just going to do that. Um, next, I'm going to activate the white prince in grave. Um, yeah. We're going to banish white prince. We're going to banish lady. And we're going to banish a uh, white male. And the king! Of the score servants shall emerge. Respectable 3k. Respectable. It's gonna be changing a bit here because I will activate white mayor in hand, targeting lady in white. Getting a bit concerning. <gasps> Summon this. That puts my king at 4,000. Oh. And. I have noticed this is lethal. I will link these two off. Make. Dark and put my king up to 6,000? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will enter the battle phase. Yeah. I'll attack with Stardust. Yeah. <laughs> and king of the score servants! <laughs> attack! <laughs> Where are my monsters? <laughs> <laughs> Where are my monsters? Let's fucking go! You got it. Oh, <gasps> my king! <laughs> oh, the skull servant, the singleton skull servant fucking has it, dude. Um, no, yeah, unfortunately, a couple of things happened here. Number one, um, sighting in Raptor's Gus was the thing I hoped to do to, like, ward off the where arf thous and stuff, but it wasn't very good for, like, going, uh, second kind of situations i also in game one missed that i had a rank up magic skip force line that goes into my uh rank six uh pool which is pretty solid i don't know if it actually like beats uh sp little knights um the Keep real that. yeah the real thing this deck was uh attempting to do was uh, use rank up magic skip force to on a five in order to summon raid raptor arsenal falcon and then link off the arsenal falcon to summon either uh rising <laughs> rebellion falcon uh yeah. or ultimate falcon i mean i couldn't be the guy who just couldn't be destroyed by card effects i don't know what i would have done to those motherfuckers i was trying to make some trap more trap cards live with the um uh, a stra stranger falcon play but it may have been correct to just go into a uh, good old fucking arc rebellion xc's yeah. dragon it would have it, it may have turned out similarly oh actually it wouldn't have because the gust was live so i was gonna say i did find the overrun this time but you did have an answer for it so i guess i wouldn't have actually beaten the arc rebellion it would have because gust is only raid raptor cards that's why i went into a you, raid raptor you, fight. you control a raid raptor card it's raid raptor roost Ah! But, you know, this was a fun match. I'm glad we got to see the Raid Raptors. Like, I had never thought of Raid Raptors as, like, a trap deck, but, like, <laughs> all the staff was crazy. Arc Rebellion is a crazy boss, and, you know, like, I think I'm really happy I got to actually play the Scullies, I think. Like, obviously, it's worse than it should be, but it turns out the generic zombie support is good enough to compensate, and it ends up being in a nice position, where, like, Raid Raptor was the one strong deck you had that hadn't been hit on the ban list. And that deck struggles with stuff like Bestials and Dark. 
But I think even this weaker version of skull solvent is strong enough to contend with anything weaker than this raid raptor deck. Uh, so it worked out surprisingly well. No, I I, I enjoyed this one. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, and that is going to put Sophie three points ahead and that's going to leave her with 10 points to my nine we're not quite done yet folks we have one more match and it is going to decide the winner of this season uh but before Damn we right get there will. we got some cards to ban uh oh, we have so many cards to ban do i know what any of them are no oh, but that's fine very vice based <laughs> the only other thing i have to say is that i'm sad that i played a zombie deck and never got to summon um my my friend i wanted to summon my friend <laughs> i was gonna i, I could have done it this game um because i had a druid swarm in hand so i could have gone druid swarm banish a shinobi summon it back um and sink it off with stardust into this um, but it turned out I could just kill you instead of doing that. <laughs> so I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, this is very funny, though. It's sad that we didn't get to see the famously successful archetype Red Eye Zombie. True, true, true. Is he, is he talking? <laughs> Could you just Konami? Not knowing what the fuck to do with the Red Eyes yeah. cards. I mean, I mean, the Red Eyes zombie cards are better than any of the other Red Eyes cards, honestly. <laughs> uh, um, the... I'm not sure that's true, but... It's mostly true. Red MD doesn't exist. <laughs> and that brings <laughs> us to the final Mega Band. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're so well prepared for this, and to show how well prepared for this I am, I'm gonna go over the rules one more time. Sophie and mm -hmm, I are mm -hmm. required to ban a minimum of 60 cards. We can max out at 75 cards. We are required to ban at least 20 cards that reside in our collection, in addition to whatever we are banning that is exclusively in our opponent's collection. Uh, usually, the Mega Ban has been partially to decide the last last match and partially to set up future season formats well but there is no future season to set up a format yeah. for so this is all about just one match and the idea behind this is that yes we're banning powerful cards but also we are in large part banning cards that we have seen before we want to make uh sophie and myself play some bullshit that nobody has ever looked at before so with that in mind, as the loser of the finale match, I will be banning first. And I think the funniest thing I could possibly ban at this stage is indeed Skull Servant. Yeah! You oh, did it, Scully, buddy. <laughs> you came, you saw, you conquered, you left. You, God bless. You beat a uh, dark attribute wing beast archetype, buddy. It was all you. <laughs> Literally. Hell yeah. All right, well, I guess, you know, we're just going to start with the cards we just played, because they're not the ones we remember. Um, I'm going to be the one to do the obvious thing. You know, we here at DPT, we love women, and we all start in Women's History Month, um, so it does feel wrong to do this. But, unfortunately, we do have to say goodbye to SP Little Knight. <laughs> goodbye, SP. This is a, This is a card that, like... If it was not a thousand dollars and like it was limited, I think would have a place in the world. But uh, as is, I just we're good. We're good. Um, I am going to follow that up by banning similarly from the deck you just played, Unizombie. This has just been a pretty decent card for the several seasons it's been out. Yeah. It has never been attached to a truly busted zombie type deck until of course we saw the uh tier zero mega threat of skull servants uh, yeah but uh yeah it's a good card it is indeed um so i should probably hit your deck if you're hitting stuff from my deck because right after is all quite good um i think uh there's actually there's a lot of good cards in this deck um, but it really does feel like the one that, like, you know, really makes it crazy strong is Raid Raptor Ruth. 
Uh, which gets you to all the back row and like just like goes plus two every turn, which is pretty decent. Yeah, Raid Raptors Roost a is one, a really, really good card. Um, it's released in the most uh recent set, helped offset some of the weaker elements of my Raid Raptor extra deck. Being able to recycle one of, being able to get deeper into the deck, and of course searching out your decks in the gates. So, we actually didn't see it in the end, but this card is still incredible, so I will be uh, banning the DDD Xyz Machinex uh, card. What R.I.P. Deus Machinex. Deus Machinex is the card. Oh, I think this is the first uh, Pendulum Xyz to ever get banned. Which isn't shocking, because there's not very many of those. Yeah. Um, but yeah. No, I think I do need to stick with Xyz, because I think I do want to give Raid Raptor a second hit. I'm also going to ban Raider's Knight. <laughs> For... Big man scary. <laughs> sure. Raider's Knight is a very flexible individual. Uh, he got people everywhere asking uh, what that horse do. All right, moving on from that <laughs> as though it never happened. We are mm -hmm. going to... Um, I think there are some entire archetypes that I'm going to just ban 100% of. And mm -hmm. one of them, well, actually, okay, there might be one I don't ban. We're hit, gonna start hitting bestials, is the point. Yeah. I think the funniest thing we can do is leave legal the one that searches bestials and ban all the other bestials. Ah, uh, so wait, which one do you mean? Sarnia? Oh, Sarnia also does branded cards. I guess we should just ban this one as well. Um, yeah. Well, either way, we are banning Baldrake, that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm happy to just bounce back and forth and knock out all five of the ones we have. The best deals are, you know, they haven't come up that much, but any, you know, light or dark deck. They're just like, hey, behold my guy. Another archetype I'm going to be eliminating entirely is the Therions. Uh, every individual Therion is just a good guy. Uh, we're killing all of them, starting off with uh, Therion, Bull, Ain. Uh, it's just a, it's just a, uh, uh, easy pop for any yeah, warrior. Yeah, I, I mean, just go for it. I can help you with this one, too. <laughs> cool. Um... Move things along. Oh, wait, yeah, it's one, two, three, four. Oh, that is indeed an even number. That's so true. <laughs> okay, cool! Um, I am the only one who gets to ban things here, is what we have established. Um, unless we want to, uh, also ban, um, Empress. Yeah, you, yeah, watch in the top. Oh, yeah, she's at the bottom there now. I got three of that bitch. Yeah, sure, I'll ban Empress. I don't have any of this card. Grumble, yeah. grumble. And that means it's my turn. Holy shit. Odd number. Wow. All right, I'm gonna... While you're doing archetypes, I'm gonna begin the sacred DPT duty um, of murdering every card we've played, like, multiple times, which means, unfortunately, it is time to say goodbye to my good friend, Terrors of the Overrut. For sure. Um... Terrors is a really interesting card. In the end, it was not as broken as Ledger Book. Um, Ledger Book uh, being able to banish two to interrupt plays, combined with the fact that Terrors of the Overroots often setting a guy makes it a little bit harder to achieve lethal directly after playing this card. It is pretty well balanced for like a more sealed sevens era, but uh, for a uh, format where we're banning a shitload of cards, it must go. Um, I think I'm going to follow up tears by hitting some other older um, trap cards. This one wasn't as good as I expected it to be, but would probably be good in a uh, post mega ban format. Apex Predation. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That is a good one. Essentially um, just Torrential Tribute. It severely limits your plays in the before and after of playing it, which is why it didn't see more play, but in the simplified game state of post-Mega Ban, it may be different. It really will. I mean, as long as we are on traps, I guess I'm so sorry to do this to you, but I will be banning a Maze Attraction Thrill Train. Uh, I mean, this. I'm pretty sure this card kicked my ass the most, so I feel a little bit betrayed by the Dragon Train. <laughs> but you know, it, it, it still is sad to see it go. I'll do one more uh, trap card while we're here. Um, Sword Soul Blackout? It's like... Yeah, back to one. Yeah. Sword Soul Blackout is another card along the lines of Apex Predation. I expected it to have more of an impact than it did. That being said, the lowered power 
level of the post Mega Band, combined with the fact that this card does actually do two things. Like, there are still, like, synchro plays you can make with this card. Uh, makes it a good candidate for a Mega Band. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm gonna hit one more amazement here, um, because I have a copy of Horror House, and that card, I, I've, been, I've been putting that in decks on and off for the whole season. Um, um, so it's time to say goodbye to my house of Whore Roars. Very important <laughs> to really enunciate that one. Alright, well, uh, Sophie burned down a whore house, uh, which means that she hates <laughs> no. sex workers. And in the midst of that, I'll go ahead and ban a maze attraction Viking Vortex. Uh, this is a, a slow negation, but it's a negation nonetheless, so goodbye. Yup, 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 yup. There's some horrors in this house. There's some horrors in this house. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Just looking through decks I've played, seeing what we need to hit. I, you know, I really hate to do this, um... Because I got to play it and you did not, but it is probably good enough. I don't want it around for the Mega Ban. One more time, chat. Gabonga! <laughs> <laughs> we have gabunged for our final time, folks. <laughs> The, the, the end of the gabonging wasn't as good as it could have been, just because Sophie and I each at this point have somewhat light uh, rank 3 pools, but still mm -hmm. a really strong card that sets up a uh, removal effect on its own. Um, yeah. Going along the lines of some pretty good uh, uh, extra deck monsters that have been with us uh, from day one, Raten... You've done a lot, buddy. Uh, you yeah. are like Joe Lieberman. You will be remembered as a good guy from both sides. God, that's so I, true. We love Rotten. But, but we will be monitoring him. Bye. Uh, similar, to, similar to Lieberman, you tend to destroy the public option at the start of the battle phase. Commentary! <laughs> okay. God, you, you, God, you are really posting out here. <laughs> um... <laughs> On the subject of Link Monsters, because uh, we've seen this fella a few times in the last couple of matches, um, I think we're going to send Doc to join his band Charmer Sisters. We should probably kill the rest of the Charmers, right? Like, we have each of them, like, I, or at least, like, all the ones we've played, all the ones that we have found a niche scenario for. Which Probably. Like I mean, sorry one. to woman, but <laughs> uh, we hit the we'll earth one and the yeah, fire one. Earth, fire, and now dark. Yeah, I'll hit the wind one next. Um, wind the uh wind charmer wind girl. Uh, specifically, so uh, win. I was surprisingly, I was surprisingly close. Win the wind charmer verdant. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I have to do this to you, area the water charmer. Um, but I do. Yeah, and I don't know if anybody pulled this, but I'm gonna ban it anyway. Lena the light charmer lustrious. I'm so pretty sure you I feeling, have one. You feeling? You feeling lustrious in these trying times? Oh, I'm all, I always am. Incredible. Gonna keep banning just, like, good stuff we've played, um, which means I am sadly gonna kill some Vern itself. Oh, um, it, it's correct, but it's sad. I know. I'm gonna start with Vern itself of the Thawing Mountains. Oh, Sorry, we're bud. hitting Thawing Mountains. We're going pretty deep. Uh, this is this like... guy sinned by being a common, unfortunately. That is fair enough. Um, I guess I'll go on that line. Um, I am going to ban uh, Vernasilf of the uh, uh, EP Bear. This one is a foolish burial. Uh, it is, uh, for a moment, made Kashtira Fenrir the best Vernasilf. Yeah. Yes, we got that, we got that. Do we need to ban more of these fuckers? I have Vera. Yeah, maybe should. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Hard draw Vera? I I have a searcher for Vera. What are you talking oh, about? You? I have multiple searchers for Vera. My pool right now is Vera, three quacky ducky, two of the common that searches Vera. What the common? That... There's a common that searches Earth fairies. Oh, which one is that one? Well, I, guess, I guess I gotta ban that one then. <laughs> Uh, I just assumed it wasn't a common, because I don't have any. Why the fuck? Just ban Vera! What are you doing? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's, not Earth... like, it's not like it's not other good Earth monsters. Oh, it is, um, World Soul Carbon. Oh, because I couldn't think of it, because it's not a Vernacelf. 
Exactly. I'm called mid as hell, but I'll ban it anyway. <laughs> Incredible. All right. Um, I will follow that up. Um, I hate to do it. Uh, it was very fun to see this archetype have an unexpected resurgence in Pote. I'm going to ban Crawler Soma. <laughs> I am no longer crawling. <laughs> oh, I am no uh, longer crawling. What a, good, what a good friend and true. God, how could this happen? <laughs> um, well, I'm gonna follow that up uh, with a good friend of Soma's, a guy I'm shocked we saw so little. Um, I would like to ban Gigantic Sprite, please. I was thinking about this. I was like, we have a whole fucking sprite package. It is just boring compared to the other stuff we could play. See, I don't even think... I like sprites. It's just like, there's not enough good twos to put in around them, I feel like. Yeah, it is a little bit weird. We've banned a lot of stuff. Um, the... <laughs> Oh, uh, it would have been truly crawler sprite at this stage. Honestly. Um. Uh. Honestly, I am going to do a little bit more sprite banning, just because these guys being able to be fairly generic negates for anybody playing level two is still pretty good. Um. So we will ban sprite red. Not sprite red. The monster, not woman. The monster negates. Yeah, that is completely fail though. Um, all right, so what I've been doing in the background is putting up a filter in Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro deck, showing all of the cards I have from the seven Vera sets to give me some ideas here. So, um, I think I'm gonna move on to just obliterating every deck we've ever played, ever, um, in anything. And, um, and I think I'm gonna start that off with a deck we have hit once, um, but it's not quite dead. Um, and I am going to ban Chimera Fusion. That is super reasonable. Chimera Fusion is still a good card. Um, you yeah. have to get a lot more creative with how you get the pieces into rotation, uh, but absolutely could have seen play in a post-mega ban uh, format. Um, I am going to ban Buzzsaw Shark. Just, this card so is... Real. Surprising this card survived as long as it did. It's just a free rank four. It really had. And, you know, if you're doing that, this one, I didn't play as much, um, but in my collection specifically, Scrap Raptor is also a free rank 4, because I have, um, Chimera. Yeah, this, this was, uh, if I was gonna run back Vernaselfs, I also have this engine, so it was truly going to be Vernaself Crawler Scrap. Real! Um, yeah, the Vernaselfs are really funny, because I was, I really expected Vera to come up again, but none of the newer cards they printed were Earth. So there was just always more yeah. interesting new stuff to do. Um, speaking of interesting new stuff, I am going to ban White Sardines. <laughs> that engine, uh, even without uh, even without the uh, good old uh, Arianpus, uh, is just like a free engine into a rank 6 that sets up uh, additional synchro plays. And I do have good mm -hmm. water payoffs. No, yeah, it is nice for sure. Um, this next one, I would like to apologize for this one. Um, but you know, I'm gonna say that from now on, Dreaming Nemleria can stay asleep. <laughs> this was one of the three decks I considered, genuinely. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, no, this deck is good. It's, <laughs> it's a genuinely good. Uh, there, I was considering playing it with a small Tessina package. Yeah! Um, yeah, no, good deck alert for sure. Um, should I hit Infernity? It did come up twice. Um, no, I'm thinking about it. Like, in, I, like will... I, I, I was thinking about banning Wildcat. You know what I am going to do? I'm going to uh, ba ban Infernity Break so the deck doesn't have as much removal. Real. Um, what was I just thinking? I was just thinking of a card that I was gonna do, and I know what it was. Um, I'm just like, Folks, there's no particular love reason to, I'm stalling. We love to do cards here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We love card. We love cards. Oh, 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 oh. I have now figured it out, um, and it is, in fact, Predaplant Bufalicula. Ooh, good hit. Uh, would have been a little bit rough to 
uh, forget about this guy. And I'm gonna follow that up by just banning Draco Stepelia anyway. Mm hmm. Um, just yeah, a very just gonna good. Yeah, one of that refusion deck. Just a very, very good uh, card. And just speaking of good. which, if we're doing that, I would also ban uh, Masquerade the Blazing Dragon, uh, which puts my branded deck on zero fusion monsters to go into. <laughs> Masquerade the Blazing Dragon, uh, somehow its burn effect, uh, mattered a lot in some games. Very- No, it's good. It's very, good. Very funny how sometimes just being Red Eyes Darkness, uh, uh, what is the one that's a, a rank 7 called? Uh, flare it's, Metal. Flare Metal. They're all such a weird combination of words. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Sometimes having just that capability is more than good enough. And, um, speaking of being good enough, I will ban Geonator Transfer, sir. No! I can't believe you hate Tran. I was literally giving up. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to get fucking creature swapped because I forgot to play around zones. Coward. Is where I'm at emotionally. Coward baby. <laughs> I am coward a coward baby. baby. I'm thinking what exactly I want to do here. <laughs> Listen. In a format as low power as a Mega Ban, I think it is relevant to hit this deck. I will be banning War Rock Generations. <laughs> I mean, like, that is reasonable. Um, I'm actually going to follow that up uh, by banning Basilios, just because it's a free special summon of a 2700 in a specific kind of deck that isn't the Two most Two War Rocks difficult. on the ban list, baby, let's go! <laughs> I mean, we had five crawlers on the ban list and it wasn't enough oh, to keep so it from real. seeing play. God, that's so real. <laughs> um, All right. I want to continue banning every deck we've played, um, and a deck that I played was Infernoble Knights. Um, and hilariously, I'm gonna ban the best card in the deck, which is a card I never actually used, which is until Noble Arms are needed once again. <laughs> Bit a uh, bit of a mouthful that one, but it makes it easy to search because it is yeah. the only Yu-Gi-Oh card with until in its name. Yeah, card crazy though. It's fucking draw one and then eat Teddy. I mean, like uh, I've banned the fuck out of Tri Brigade, and I'll do it again. Goodbye, Kit. Goodbye to yet another woman. Our bravest <laughs> soldiers keep falling. Okay, okay. I'm actually gonna ban another Info Noble card because it actually like was like all right even without ever drawing this. Um, so I'm gonna ban Horn of Odifont as well, so this can be a back row deck with no back row. <laughs> I mean, like, Horn- Um, it doesn't have Infernoble in the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the thing about this deck is that, like, it, uh, held its own pretty well against Godi when Godi was at its most broken. Like, it's a- and it didn't draw a lot of its best cards. Like, it's a good deck. Like, uh, right. this is- this is- these are reasonable hits. Um... Speaking of reasonable hits, um, we hit this deck, uh, pretty hard, but it also hit Sophie pretty hard, uh, and in the spirit of the current, uh, political moment, I am going to ban Joe Biden of the ninjas. <laughs> God, that's so true. Good card, good card. Yeah, uh, fucking Floodgate Trap Hole on Summon. Still very accessible. It really is. Um... All right, I am going to ban... I literally just fucking had it. How did I forget it in the last two seconds? What have I done? It's because Fuck. I talked about uh, Joe Biden and you were like... And I was distracted by Joe Biden. Yeah, it's Joe Biden. I hate it boss. when that happens. It often is. Um, <laughs> it very frequently is. No, but for real, what was... I was like, oh yeah, this is such a good ban. Like, I gotta ban this. For sure. Um, oh, 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 oh. It was another card that we didn't play a ton, but I expect to become a lot better in a lower-powered format. Um, and that is Decisive Battle of Golgonda. Yes, um, I actually meant to limit this card at one point, because it's a common I only found one copy of. Uh, but definitely down to see it go to zero during the Mega Banning. Uh, and a card I will also be seeing go to zero in the Mega Banning is a card that I remembered at the start of the sentence. Let's go! <laughs> God, we're good at that! It was there! It was there! I just ran on for too long. Okay, I don't remember the one I was going for, so I'll go for a different one. Talismandra! 
<laughs> we're hitting it's, it's the last it's the last mega ban we're hitting rituals god i can't believe this had to happen <laughs> just Fucked one up. time well, I would never hit rituals. I don't know what you would even do with them at this stage, uh, yeah. even in Mega Band, but it is funny. I would never hit rituals. Um, but a card I would hit is a Funko Pop. Um, I'm banning Scale Cloud Lightheart. Oh, that is. I tried to type Funko Pop. <laughs> I mean, as you should. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is that is uh this card's chosen name. Um, if you call it what's on the text, you're dead naming it. <laughs> True! Uh, oh, that's a good one to ban. Uh, we're going to ban Super Heavy Samurai, uh, Shit Blaster. We're gonna ban <laughs> Super <laughs> We're gonna ban Super Heavy Samurai Soul Piercer. I actually have a third copy of it after the extra bans, hilariously. Wow. Uh, it is a card without a once per turn, and therefore it will die. R.I.P. Unfortunately, it will search a super heavy upon being killed, <laughs> but we found all the good ones, so hopefully that's fine. Uh, um, what else? What else? Uh, maybe a bit of a weird one. Um, but I am actually gonna ban Kashtira Ogre. No! On the basis that a 2800 guy with upside is probably good enough in Mega Ban. Honestly, that is, uh, I was absolutely gonna ban Cash Tira Ogre. I think, especially in lower power formats, just being able to mill the top five of your opponent's deck and banish something face down could potentially destroy strategies. Like, if your deck needs, like, uh, one or two things to function, then this card could be devastating. Mm. And that's before you get to the just being big. It's big. Big, big, big. It's so big. It's it's chonky. It's a chonker. Oh, you know what I am gonna ban, Sophie. Uh huh. You know what? Uh, you can't. You cannot be mad about this. Uh, I know it's going to make you sad, but this isn't a. I'm keeping you from potentially doing this in the Mega Ban situation because you killed me. With this card in the main season, you won a match with this in the main season. So, goodbye, bigger Stardust. <laughs> Yo! Um, what the fuck was its name? Um, it's, shoot it's a shooting majestic star dragon. My friend. My best friend. <laughs> Godspeed, comrade. Oh, it, it got there, folks. It got it there really along did. with a lot of, uh, uh, fucking instruments. Hell yeah. Alright, um, so I'm gonna hit another generic card here. One that, um, we talked, we haven't actually seen, but we've talked about it, and it is gonna be really annoying and no power. I am removing the pussy from the sarcophagus. <laughs> I will ban devouring sarcophagus. Oh, that's so real of you. Yeah, this card is essentially, like... Um, it's, it's both better and worse than, uh, Mimicking Maneater Bug. It's, a, a not as free to just trigger its effect on your own time, uh, but if it, uh, gets attacked, it's better. Yeah, and I will follow that up by, uh, you know, these cards have seen play a couple of different times. So, we will ban, um, what is the sound, the music archetype, the music pendulum archetype? Music Pendulum, Sulfur Quad? The good Symphonic Warrior? Symphonic Warrior. Um, we are going to ban Guitar. Uh, this card is seen play a couple different times in a couple different Farewell, contexts. Farewell, friend. You've done so much for me. Um, Alright, we are now going to overflow the side deck from the banning another extra deck card. Uh, friend, I can't believe I forgot about for this long in terms of generic stuff we've played a ton. It is time to say goodbye to our good friend Vespinato. Yeah, uh, Vespinato has been here from the beginning, folks. Vespinato was there for us, held us, and now mm -hmm. we're killing it. Um, yeah, I guess I'll ask you really quickly, are you going to ban the Electromite? <laughs> are you forgetting you have it? Are you? I don't know, I probably should at some point. Yeah, I've, I've really just been scrolling through my collection and being like, surely Death doesn't have anything important that I don't. Jesus that wouldn't Christ. happen. I need you to understand, I'm at, in post Mega Ban, it's absolutely Electrobite if you don't ban it. <laughs> um, I will ban uh, Power Tool Braver Dragon. There are actually yeah, some things so you can do uh, with equip cards, especially in a lower power yeah. instance.
Well, I guess I'll ban Electromite if you're gonna bully me about it. You're gonna make a big deal. Uh, Electromite played several times, never actually, like, uh, came up, I don't think. Never happened. And this deck didn't do super well by me, but it still feels wrong to leave the Metal Foes engine online. So we will, uh, ban Metal Foes... It's something fusion. Uh, Parametal Foes fusion. That one. Um, in the fine DPG tradition of never allowing good rank 4s to persist, um, I will be banning the best remaining one, which is inexplicably Gunkin Sushi and Bakura yes! Dreadnought. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of Dreadnought Dunker if you squint. Uh, also, Dreadnought Dunker. Yeah, that's true. I was considering hitting them again. <laughs> Just never um, again. Just not even a single time again. Yup. Alright, one, there's one other F for that guy I wanted to hit, and I have worked, and I have successfully stalled long enough to remember what it was. It is gonna be Virtual Wild Beast Juju. <laughs> This card just is a, pretty good. Just uh, a guy, you know? Just a fucking guy. It's just a fucking guy that can't be destroyed uh, by card effects if you have two or more of the same attribute. And this did not go very well for me, but I think it is correct to ban the fan fan. Goodbye, fan fan. Fan fan really tried, you know? Fan fan was somehow my elemental hero. Honestly. I yeah, have it's a little bit unfortunate. Virtual World has well between the two of us, Virtual World has a worse record than E Hero. Yeah! <laughs> Virtual World did not carry a single match this season. Epic. Oh dear. I'm gonna go back and actually hit one more zombie card, because it did just occur to me. Um that if Shiranui style Swallow Slash remains le legal, we could just like play Shiranui again. Yeah, that's like, that true. real good. Shiranui is cool. I like the guys, but uh the kind of uh two for three situation is not exactly uh the the, the best for balancing, probably, maybe. <laughs> Um and we're getting down yeah. to the wire. We're getting down so to the wire. So what do we wanna part. what do we wanna do about like cybers? <laughs> well, um Cause we I haven't can... seen it. Do we wanna see it? No, not particularly. I think one thing I will go ahead and do is um I am going to ban uh, Cyber Switch. This is a little bit of a specific card to make work, but it gives you access to a bunch of different lines. Right. Yeah, I'm trying to think if we need to have more Cyber stuff. And I, and I, and I will might, and I, and I might, because if I have to see Cyber spam in the last match of DPT, I will end it all. <laughs> um, I mean, could just ban the fucking big firewall so they lose the like big ass fucking idiot to go into. Yeah, I'm probably going to do that if you don't. Ah, well then I'm gonna do it, because I don't want to keep thinking about it. <laughs> Alright, um, Firewall, uh, Dragon Singularity is out of the format. Um, yeah, this card can put up just an intimidating number of negates, but it also kind of loses to Kaijus, so it's a very all-in strategy that isn't, uh, the coolest. That leaves us with seven more. Yup. Cool. And I guess I will go ahead and ban Backup Soul Secretary. Yeah. <laughs> just while just we're in, here. Just making fucking sure. Just making sure I haven't missed anything that we have, that I've played. I guess I probably need to hit some of the Dogmatica stuff, right? Like the ritual shit. It's re- I mean, it's so <laughs> funny. Um... Mm -hmm. Yeah, Albazoa could definitely come up, but Ecclesia yeah. does nothing. Oh, um, and Ecclesia no. searches the ritual social, which is pretty good. Um, no, I, I am gonna ban Albazoa, though, to get rid of the towers. Yeah. It's, like, maybe still correct to ban Ecclesia, but I, I, I've done too much harm to women already today. <laughs> I can't do it. I, I can't do that to my protagonist. God, we are surely just, like, forgetting something absurd. 
Yeah, I'm like, I'm just, I'm just double checking. I'm just double checking the tape. Uh, one thing I will get rid of from my collection is, uh, Herald of the Abyss. Uh, uh, no, 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 Herald of the Arc Light. Uh, this Very card fair. is just a, just a level four that gets to be a negate. Just a little baby negate. Um, I wonder if there's anything re that we played really early that would come back. Like, do we need to ban another Megalith? <laughs> Um, you could, you would be justified in just, uh, making sure Ophiel can't come back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. Oh, just, just, this is a collaborative prof process. No, not Ophiel, like, the, the guy who pops a bunch. Oh, Baithor, Baithor, Baithor. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I mean, that's the win condition. Might as well ban yeah. that one. Because that's... Up to 72, so three left. I will say, there's still, even with all these bands, there is definitely stuff you can do. Like, this is definitely oh, yeah. going to be the most high-powered uh, post-mega band. <laughs> that's so, that's surely true. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking something crazy, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, and I am going to do Karakuri again. No. Um, Real! I am... Yeah, I mean, we've seen it a bunch of times, so I guess we will uh, make you have to think a little harder uh, about what uh, rank three you're making. Goodbye, Zsa Zsa. Zsa Zsa, Zsa 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 Zsa. <clears throat> but, you know, the virtual world I said, monsters do want a lot more than the main deck. <laughs> All right, so, so for my last ban, ban number 74. Um, so this one actually, um, this is, I, I, I've... Struggled to come up with bands. This one I've known. I known for a while this was gonna be my last band. Um, so I've been thinking about this one for a long time. I really had to consider this. I um, really had to mull it over. I really had to weigh all my options. I um, mean, I think now, after fully considering everything, I think now is the time to ban Mirage of Nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> so true. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh god. Oh dear. And if the oh. format somehow gets ruined because of one broken card we forgot to ban, <laughs> let it be known that I'm not sorry. Oh no. Let me think. I'll ponder a little bit of a ponder on my last one. This is the mm -hmm. last card that will ever be banned on Double Progression Trouble. And you know what, Sophie? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think, uh, we have kept this around, uh, for some amount of counterplay. We've kept it around just so that we have it on hand, but I think the time has come. I think I have decided that we live or we die on the back of our monsters like real women with dicks. And <laughs> we are therefore going to ban the final kaiju. <laughs> R.I.P. Thunder King, go hang out with your friends in prison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have defeated everything. You have stomped on so many monsters. And that is going to be it Dead for it. the last Double Progression Trouble Mega Ban. All of these cards are now illegal in our format. And we have to come up with something brand spanking pankin' new uh, in order to uh, sure. win the last... Yeah. Uh, match which will decide the season. It will. You know, zero percent chance we missed anything bannable here. But this is perfect. Um, I will take no feedback. Um, yeah. um this was the optimal time to ban Mirage. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, and folks, let's see what Sophie and I ultimately decided on. Could never have ended any other way, could it? That's right, folks. For the final match of Double Progression Trouble, my good friend Moki will be riding into battle alongside me one last time. We have updated the old Moki Monarch strategy. No longer are we summoning Mokis and tributing them for high level monsters. Instead, we're summoning Mokis and linking them off for powerful boss monsters. Or at least the best bosses that are left after we banned every good Link monster. This deck, beyond just being the obvious choice, because it's my boy, 
is surprisingly competent. It's not the best deck, not by any means, but our good friend Moki's gotten a lot of new toys since the Orden days. We still have some old friends, Enchanting Fitting Room is here, we're playing one human wave tactics for nostalgia reasons, but look at what else we have. Moki has a Thor Charge, a Summon from Deck, a Searcher, a powerful Disruption Trap to access, Treasure Panda, which is like a million E-Teddies, and Moki Moki 2, the sequel. There is so many tools this strategy has gotten that would allow us to summon a whole bunch of funny little guys and use them as material to summon some nifty little boss monsters. The big boss of the deck is Link Mail Large Fiend, which requires an exceeds monster as material, but cannot be targeted by monster effects and has some ability to protect itself from destruction, making it extremely difficult to out. Other than that, we have some other powerful links, you know, stuff like Early and Imduck. We have Draco Masters of the Tenyi, which is also a little difficult to remove, and then a bunch of powerful utility link ones we can go into. The side deck is a bunch of funny stuff, out of the blue, Twister, been there since the beginning, bud. Small Scuffle is a hilarious going first side. Parasomnia Pillow, which I'm shocked we didn't ban. And one last time, one of my favorite cards that's never ever been good, Faustian Bargain, as a going second removal spell. I don't have much to say about this deck. It is what it is. I never considered playing anything different. And in the end, I don't really care if I win or if I lose this match. All that matters is that I get to end this two-year-long adventure with Jess, with you, the viewer, and with my good friend, Moki. Let's get out there and play some Yu-Gi-Oh! For the final match of Double Progression Trouble, we are going to be honoring the individual who started the progression craze a couple years ago. Folks, if it's good enough for Simo and Masochus, it's good enough for us right now. This is Beargrum Turbo. Essentially, we have a bunch of different cards that search either uh, Beargrum or a card that searches Beargrum. And the ideal state of this deck is using those cards for synchro summons so we can put powerful monsters on the board and be playing against Sophie in that regard, but cycling through searchers in order to ultimately find Beargrum, at which point we can cash in all the insects we been putting it into the graveyard for a truly terrifying in this format i think i hope boss i am pretty confident in this deck we've made a couple of silly decisions like actually playing killer needle in main but like it's the last match we gotta have a little bit of fun and this deck does look like fun it also looks very powerful if we get to the combos and i think we're going to have the time to do it this deck is a little bit slow especially compared to what we have been playing the last couple of weeks but i think everything is going to be slowed down enough that we're going to have time to make some fireworks happen. We've got the one Barragrum, which is all we need, three Resonance Insect, three Goki Pull, which is why we're playing a couple of straight up vanillas, and three Howling Insect. This is our worst searcher, it's just uh, meant to get us into our better searchers. We've got a small Bee Trooper package, it's three Assault Ruler and one Scale Bomber, both really solid extenders in their own right. Three Sneaky C, I think this card is going to be really good this form format and the fact that it's an insect is the cherry on top three primitive butterfly which is just a free special summon one variant of the circular sorcerer just a pretty easy to special summon insect tuner very nice for the deck to have one doom dozer it's questionable whether it's correct to play this at this point and we might just side out of it but uh we're gonna try for now two swarm of centipedes i mean it's just man eater bug at least and if it stays on the field it's just a straight up pac-man monster three dino wrestler cola Silat, uh two hop air squadron and one melfi caddy along with an engine of fossil digs remains our best tuner lineup that we can put in a deck right now and then we've got two shiny black sea squatter and one killer needle to be summoned off of goki bolt for removal one parasomnia pillow one twist and three double hooking round out the main deck. I think double hooking will be really, really solid now. The extra deck is just a series of ways to trigger our resonance insect or our Goki pull, namely synchros and links. We've got Crystron Omatrix, Desert Locusts, Diabolus the Menacing Mantis, Edig Master Packbit, Garden Rose Flora, Golden Cloud Beast May Long Times 2, Kuabel the Blade Dragon, Navy Dragon Mech. 
Ruddy Rose Dragon, and then the Lynx. Giant Bee Trooper Invincible Atlas will actually probably come up this match if we're linking off a bunch of guys. One Insector Picophilina, one Seraphim Papillon, one Dispatch Parazi, and one Steel Star Regulator. The side deck, which I definitely didn't finish building two seconds ago, Lava Golem, uh, one more Swarm of Centipedes, and three Infinite Antlion. This card serves a specific purpose. We never banned that one beast monster that is unaffected by special summon monsters effects so truly this is just an engine of guys that can out that guy exactly two more parasomnia pillow two more twister two destruction jammer three the transmigration prophecy harry alice empress of blossoms we couldn't make space for this in the extra deck it's pretty tight there but it can help with some ruddy rose dragon combo so we're kind of back and forth about it and that does it for the last deck profile let's see what happens Welcome back, YouTube. Uh, this is a day of incredible events. This is a day of seismic historic events. This is Everybody the day I watched Oppenheimer for the first time. So I mm -hmm. have now mm -hmm. watched the Oppenheimer. Uh, it is a day where Joe Biden has publicly uh, declared that Jesus had uh, balls and bazongas, like both, <laughs> simultaneously. Uh -huh. He said that. He literally, I'm not making this up, I'm like looking off of a, uh, I like pulled up this news document where Biden was like, Jesus mm -hmm. had balls and bazongas, it's chill, <laughs> stop freaking out over this, uh, deuces. He said it. Uh, but, Crazy. uh, perhaps bigger than all of that, uh, mm. the end of Double Progression Trouble. The yeah. final match, the, the deciding, uh, factor in the sevens season of this series. How are you feeling, Sophie? Where are the, where are the feels? You know, if we're talking about this match in particular, on one hand, I'm worried because it is Easter after we record this, so you know, you might be, you might rise from the grave after being defeated on Friday and therefore beat me. But it's also Trans Day of Visibility, which gives me an advantage as the only trans person on this program. <laughs> that um, is very solidly but, reasoned out. <laughs> but above all that, fucking insane! This is the final match of the series, and I'm excited. I love my deck. I'm excited to play one last bang on match with you. <laughs> I am really pumped. I am taking a slight risk on my deck but i think every deck in the format is kind of like that like mm -hmm. this obviously isn't as fast as stuff that we have gotten used to building over the last few weeks but yeah. i think uh you just fucking wait for that turn three is all i'm saying <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you know, you, you sound like you had to think about what deck to play. Let me tell you, I did not have that problem. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I have a suspicion, and it's insane. <laughs> well, one last well, one, 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 last one of those That's insane sus suspicions is that I have, like, a 10, a, <laughs> 10 and 1 record with RPS mm -hmm. in the latter portion of the series. All right, we'll go first and see what happens. Um... Hmm. I think this is enough to get us started. Um, Sophie, I'm gonna activate Fossil Dig. Yo, we dig in! We are digging once more! <laughs> we are once again adding Koala Silver. Yeah! Dino Wrestlers making an appearance in the final match! <laughs> Dino Wrestlers showed up to the final battle, folks. It is real. Um, mm. and then I guess the thing I could confuse you most with in terms of next steps is probably to normal summon shiny black sea squatter oh let's fucking go let's fucking go and this this actually isn't a bugging. super impressive turn one but we will just go ahead and make a golden cloud beast mei long uh yeah. it's just it's just a guy who like just a guy. does things if you kill it and yeah we're we're hanging all right i will draw a photon all right Jeff. Listen, we all know there was only one way this could end, right? <laughs> Last match of the series. What choice did I have? I activate unexpected die. Okay, we're going. Um... <laughs> and I will summon from my deck my friend, my loyal comrade, my dual spirit. 
Moki Moki! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! This is a rematch of GEX Grand Finale. Bugs versus Mokis. <laughs> And this time, the Mokis have learned some new tricks. I'm gonna activate Wear Off Thou. Yeah, yeah, you got it. And there's a couple of options I can go for here. Um, that one's funny, but it's probably supposed to be that one, assuming I can... Yeah, because I do that, then I do that, and oh baby, it's all coming the fuck together! I will add from my deck to my hand, the level 1 monster, Guiding Light. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no. Um, but am I doing that? Hold up. I just put it I, I, I might literally be lying here. <laughs> um, yeah, we're at it. Fuck it. Who cares? I'm not gonna summon it immediately though. What I am gonna normal summon is a little fellow by the name of Treasure Panda. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so this card, non once per turn, lets me banish up to three spell traps from grave to summon a normal monster from deck whose level equals the number of cards. So I'm, I'm just gonna do this twice, real quick, Sweet. for one spell each. And I will summon from my deck, Moki Moki! <laughs> and, um, for, I may or may not have drawn the third one, so I will summon a card <laughs> which I swear to God is the optimal other vanilla, White Dust On. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, sure. <laughs> I, this it's does optimal. feel like a fever dream. This, I won't lie. <laughs> Alright, now, see, I'm trying to think. I think, can I make it to... Oh, no, I'm actually in a position where I think I'm slightly off making it to the boss monster. Uh, but we can still do, like, things. We can do, like, stuff, you know? We can do, like, things and stuff. Of course we can do things and stuff. It's Moki, baby. That's the best deck in the game. Um... I see, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think of a way to do this, because it would be very nice to get to this fella. Would do a lot for me here, but the problem is... <laughs> sometimes a Yu-Gi-Oh card is not very good. <laughs> it may shock you, I'm playing mid-ass cards in this deck, uh, but I am playing some. Um, what's like the most efficient way I can out this stupid frickin' Dingle Dork? If I had a way to get to one more material, it would be so easy would be so simple but alas life is not always easy for a moki gamer you don't say i think we still probably do this i will overlay my moki moki and my white dust on and i will summon lyrilusk recital starling yeah sure and I'll activate Starling's effect to add a level 1 winged beast monster from my deck to my hand. Yeah, you got it. I mean, it is gonna be, um, the Slower Swallow. Okay. <laughs> um, which I could summon if I had two monsters with the same level on the field, um, but I surely don't. Uh, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, got lots of follow-up here. You know, we love follow-up. Um, so... I think for now, like, I don't have a good way to clear the guy without you bouncing a guy, and I don't really want you to bounce my guy, the thing about it. You know, if possible. So, yeah, I will link away my Moki Moki to summon my doggy, Imduck the World Shadow Dragon. Yeah, okay. And then, god, I, I could do this, which would be so good if your card didn't have text on it. <laughs> um, but it really does. That's fine. Well, actually, you know what? We're gonna play it a bit slow. We're gonna we're summon we're gonna summon a recital. We're gonna summon my good friend Pit Knight early to do a little bit of floating. Um, and I'm gonna fuck your shit up next turn. Don't even okay. doubt it. <laughs> Stand by main. Let's see what have we got here. Um, yeah. All right. Then I think it's just that. We will start because there's an insect in our graveyard. We're going to special summon Fairy Ant, the Circular Sorcerer. No! Oh, I love this card. And then I'm going to follow it up by normal summoning um, uh, B Trooper Assault Roller. Yep, yep. And I think we are just going to Synchro Summon 
Uh, Kuvelt, uh, the Blade <laughs> Dragon. Yeah! And it just lets me pop a card on summon. Um, is there any reason to... A pit Knight's coming back no matter what I do, so it's like, in terms of battle damage, maybe? Yeah, nothing I can do to not trigger the early, so we'll just pop the early. We're just, we're just gonna go for damage this turn. Farewell to woman. Yeah, and, uh, fuck it. Uh, goodbye to my second woman. Damn, Dragon. two women. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, and that's my board. <laughs> We're just That hanging. is a board indeed. All right, Jess. Now behold the power of the Moki. I normal summon Guiding Light, and I'll activate its effect to summon Moki Moki from my graveyard. Okay, you got it. Oh, and also Odie came back in the end phase. That's the thing oh, that yeah, happened. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. I'll you summon Moki Moki. Too. And then, because two monsters of the same level are on field, I'll special summon the slower Swallow. Yeah. Now, I will overlay Moki Moki and Guiding Light to exceed summon good friend Sylvan Princess Sprite. Yeah, okay. So I'll go Princess Sprite effect. I'll excavate one. If it's a spell trap, I draw it. Otherwise, it goes to grave. And the top card of my deck is... Oh, Yo! shit. Okay. We're comboing. Um, oh, we are. And, th and you know, I'm still doing more. Because I am going to link away my slower swallow, Sylvan Princess Sprite, and the Link 2 Pit Knight early to summon my ultimate monster, Link Mail Archfiend. Okay, what does this thing do? Um, it does a couple funny little things. Firstly... On summon, I'm going to target Princess Sprite in my graveyard to reduce all of your monsters' attack by Princess Sprite's 1800 attack for the turn. Sure. So all the monsters I control? Yup. Alright. So um, and also, one. monsters I control summoned from the extra deck cannot be targeted by monster effects, and if Link Mail Large Fiend would be destroyed, I can banish um, a non-Link extra deck monster from the grave to protect it. Yeah. Okay. That's a lot of stuff. It really is. I'm going to do my enchanting fitting room now. Or do I, I probably should wait till next turn. We'll be patient. We'll be patient. And I don't even need to, because you will never defeat my mighty boss monster. Go, Link Mail Archfiend. Destroy Malong. Good luck targeting my face-up cards. That is super valid and real. We will take the 2400. I will set one card face down and end my turn. Alrighty. Um... Oh, this doesn't target, does it? Okay, that's a pretty good way to start. Um, I'm gonna start by normal summoning Goki Pole! Yo! Um, and... Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and just, uh, Link summon, uh, my good friend Dispatch Parazi. Yeah! <laughs> we will declare the effect of Goki Pole. Yup, yup. We are going to add from deck to hand, Sophie. It's gonna be shiny black sea squatter! <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. And we'll special summon the squatter and non targeting try to destroy Link Mail. Ah, but not so fast. I'll banish my Xyz monster of a Sidal Starling from Grave to protect the Link Mail. <laughs> Frick! Well, I guess I'll just have to give up. Unless. Uh, Unless I go ahead and banish three insects from my graveyard. Yo! And special summon Beargrum, Shield Emperor of the Forest Crown! <laughs> Yo! Alright, um, let's see. So this is gonna pop my board. Oh, except insect or plants. That's, yeah, that's why this works out. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, so. Uh, no, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to link these two off in order to summon Seraphim Papillon. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It gets a counter, and now we will Beargrum. Um, right, that's a destroy my little fellow. Yeah, I'm a little sad about it, but I will banish my princess, right, to protect Link Mail. All right, um, the good also, thing- Also, your Seraphim is gaining 200 attack because of the counter. Oh, yes. Um, 
And um, Bear or Grom cannot attack directly this turn, but it can continue to attack your monster. So we'll mm -hmm. get some more stuff out of the graveyard now. I can't banish Link monsters. It's dead. <laughs> oh, okay. Then that's pretty good. <laughs> it's not bad. All right. Um, main phase two. Uh, Papillon gets to quick effect um summon an insect from graveyard which is great because i did not banish this goki pool i banished something else instead that's true i remember that <laughs> 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 all right right, I'll draw for turn okay i think we can find some pretty nifty stuff to do here and it's gonna start out like this jess I activate the enchanting fitting room! Yeah, you got it. I will pay 800 and excavate the top four cards of my deck. And any normal monsters among them will get summoned. Oh, I mistyped. Hold up. All level three or lower normal monsters, but yes. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. I'm not playing any big ones. All right. All right we got on. one. That's a charcoal and pachi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that truly is a charcoal and pachi. Yeah! All right, for my next trick, I will once again in normal summon the treasure panda. Yeah, you got it. And I'll use my panda's power, banishing enchanting fitting room to summon from my deck another white dust on. Yeah. <laughs> then- yeah. Uh, Can I get some white? I'm gonna overlay my white dust on and charcoal and party to summon my second princess bright. Yeah. We'll go princess bright to attempt to draw one. <gasps> Moki Moki adrift. Moki Moki going to the graveyard. But welcome into rotation, buddy. Next. Um. Wait. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the state of my extra deck complicates things a little bit. Um. You were so confident until exactly that moment. Oh, if I could bottle that energy up. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Holy um, shit. Um, we can still do this. We just have to do it in a slightly different way, you know? Because, yeah, really unfortunate. If I still had Pit Knight early in the extra deck, I would have the most line. But tragically, I do not have Pit Knight early in the extra deck. Um, Okay. Which means I actually have to think. Was really hoping I wouldn't have to do that. Um, but it is what it is. Oh, but actually we can just do like that and then we can do... Okay, no, 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 no. This still works. This still works completely fine. I want to activate my trap card. Double hooking! <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty good Yu-Gi-Oh card. I'll discard my third Moki Moki. Just target two monsters in Grave and summon it. I'm going to target... Pit Knight early, and I'm gonna target... It literally doesn't matter, so I'm gonna summon Moki Moki. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. Wham! Oh wait, actually... Oh, so in realizing what this is, I am going to chain to double hooking. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, we're just gonna... Let's, let's go ahead and avert that disaster. Yeah, I think no, it, it is gonna be like this. It is gonna be like this. Moki Moki returns. And now, I will link away once more my early Princess Sprite and Moki Moki and summon my second Link Mail Arch Fiend. Yeah, you got it. And I'll activate Link Mail to once again reduce all your monsters by 1800 this turn. Yeah, so that's going to be 24... 1600 on the Bear Grum. And 300 on my Link 3. As it should be. I'll go to battle phase. Link Mail on Archfiend will clear Bear Grum. Ew. And that's going to be 12 hundos. And Treasure Panda will clear the Seraphim. Cool. Um... Then main phase two... Ah, uh, we might as well Treasure Panda again. Banish the double hooking. Um, and we'll summon a, a Charcoal and Party. 
I don't think there's anything too exciting I want to do with these guys, but you know, they're hanging out. Um, and then I will just... Okay, I, um, I maybe should have done this slightly differently, but it's probably fine. I'll set one and pass. Alright, stand by main. We will... Um... Um, I will start by normal summoning Dino Wrestler Coalacillat. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, let's conduct a Synchro Summon. And it is going to be a defense position Garden Rose Flora. <gasps> is it now? <laughs> and with Goki Pool, we are going to add from deck to hand Killer Needle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we will special summon the Killer Needle and attempt to pop Link Archmail. And you will not succeed yet. Uh, we will special summon the Bear Grum. Mm hmm We will banish you, you... Ah, oh, this thing really is a dragon roller, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is the case. Um... And we will... All my guys are plants or insects, so we'll go Bear Grum. Um... Okay, I gotta think here. <laughs> um... Oh no, but I don't have any- I can't protect my Link Belt again, No! <laughs> oh man. I, I, if I played slightly differently, I would have been able to survive the turn. No, I'm that was sure like a real- up. that was a real game. There was like back and forth. Yeah. Both of these decks do- some <laughs> somehow do more than any Mega Band deck has ever done. Honestly incredible um, stuff. Um, okay, so... Mokis. Moki! Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm playing against Mokis. Damn right you're playing against Mokis. No okay. chance you weren't playing I... against Mokis. <laughs> I feel like there was a chance that I wasn't. I do feel as though there was a chance that I wasn't playing With against With me Mokis. in the final match? Come on. <laughs> okay, um, what, what are we siding against this? <laughs> what can you side against this? <laughs>I could be. The second to last game we're playing on this series. Uh, just a question. Okay. I could be. Yeah, I think we just normal summon resonance insect. Yeah. Set one, set two, and pass. Intriguing. I will draw for turn. Alright, we can do a bit of gaming here, you know? We can just do a tiny bit of gaming. I am... At least we can't do that, though. Sad. But we can still do a good amount of stuff, can't we? Um... I'm gonna flip summon. Get bluffed, dummy. It's Moki Moki. <laughs> okay. Alright, sure. Where off thou? Uh, do you have three of this card, or do you just keep drawing it? Yeah, yeah I do. Okay, it. okay, okay. For some reason, I thought it was a super, because so many normal, um, like, monster-related cards are super high rarity. Yeah, no, I have, I have like, a trillion of these fuck-offs. I have so many. Um, let me see, let me see. We could do that. I think a fun thing to do. Yeah, I will add from my deck to my hand, the Guiding Light. Alright, um, as a light, I am feeling guided. So true. I will link off my Moki Moki to summon Imduck the World Chalice Dragon. Yeah, you got it. Um, our normal Guiding Light and activate its effect to revive Moki Moki. Yeah, you're you're still with me. Summon. Um, got a couple options from here, but I think we're just gonna do this. I will link off all three of my monsters to summon the Mighty. Draco Masters of the Ten Year. Um, battle with an effect monster. Okay. 
Okay. Um, and I think we're oh. going to chain something to summon here. I yeah. Think we're gonna start um making some moves. Yeah, fuck it. Last match, uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a little bit of fun. I am going to declare the effect of Hoppier Squadron. Uh huh. We are going to conduct a synchro summon, and mm. I think what I want at this stage is Desert Locusts. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun. This has one in hand ripping. I mean, <laughs> it, I mean, it's a terrible hand rip, so it's fine. But you get to. I mean, you do get to pick, but I will also trigger yeah. Resonance Insect. Yeah, thinking what I'm right. I see the problem here. Okay. <laughs> do you have you um... read Resonance Insect? Yeah, I figured it out. Okay, cool. All right, um, what am I gonna discard? Um, I think I need this for next turn. So it is gonna be um the funniest card in my deck, Seed Spitting Saplings. <laughs> <laughs> and this then, card, this card, Solemn Warning. <laughs> can I chain something to summon of my thing as well? Well, well, yeah, uh, oh, what I mean, uh, you, you, uh, yeah. you're doing something on resolution here or whatever. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, yeah. Fun. I am yeah. going to do something on resolution. I activate mm -hmm. double hooking! I see you too are a hooker! We are going to special summon uh, Shiny Black Sea and Resonance Insect, and now uh -huh. I can quick effect Synchro Summon with Locusts. And Interesting. Resonance Insect is not a once per turn. It sure is not. Well, I think the easiest solution to this is to uh, attempt to end the main phase. Um, I am going to have a response. That's crazy. This is a tuner and a non-tuner to make a 10, and we will go <laughs> Ruddy Rose Dragon. Yo! <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure um, double hooking, uh, losing a monster means my yep. um, thing is destroyed, but we are going to banish all cards from the graveyards. Mm. Oh, I see, I see. We're triggering resonance, I we're tri see. We're triggering resonance, and then we're banishing all of your Moki Mokis. Not my Moki! <laughs> Whatever will you do now? Whatever will no I do. No normals in your graveyard. Um, and we will add from deck to hand. Uh, you know, Goki Pole is a pretty decent card. Uh, Goki Pole's been working pretty well for me. Resonance in fact only searches level five or higher. Oh, that's so it. true. Oh, you know what? Then let's get the funny thing since we've already gotten Bear Grum. Sophie, I'm gonna add Sneaky C. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's actually a good question. So Resonance Insect gets sent to Graveyard to conduct the uh, Synchro Summon of Ruddy Rose Dragon, at which point it is banished. It has both a sent to Graveyard effect and a banished effect. Do I get the banish effect, or is there some timing shenanigans? Well, I mean, it's an F, so it can't miss timing, and it's on a okay. new chain anyway. Oh, okay, um, so, so... I, I will start off my new great. Wait, hold yeah. on. I don't even need to... I, I get to send Goki Pole here. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Uh, we will use Goki Pull to add Killer Needle. Uh huh. <laughs> Special summon Killer Needle and Poppier Draco Masters of the. Oh, I noticed you were like, we're gonna have some fun, and then you're just like, <laughs> I'm playing Ruddy Rose my Dragon. <laughs> Ruddy Rose Dragon is. You're dead. You're dead. I love her. I can't be mad at her. I played Ruddy Rose Dragon during your turn. I'm I'm having a good time, even if it's at your. <laughs> All right. The excellent part of this is that there's a zero percent chance you have lethal from this position. Ugh. All right. Um, stand by main. Um, regrettably, <laughs> we're gonna banish the Goku. No. no. And uh, no. We will. Um, I think we just have it without Bergram. Let me do the math really quickly. Thirty-two, forty-two. Oh, we do need the. Mm. Oh, that's actually. It's six thousand on board. I think, right? Oh. Well, we just like. Um. Oh, but we can't link off because we put that in the relevant zone. <gasps> Wait, let's go. Let's I... go. Let's go. <laughs> Are we in it? Are we in it? Oh, uh, hilarious. Um, I think we're still fine. We um play Ferient Circular. We can. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Oh, you normal. You normal summoning it. Okay, I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't normal summon. I see. I also could have done it in the opposite order, but we will go for. Uh, 
Kua belt. Uh, I'll just pop your back row. God, dude, I'm so mad you didn't attack tone one because I couldn't resist putting in one cop. <laughs> <Like, laughs> I and had then, to. And then we have Bear Grum. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna see a human wave tap dance and just be like, okay, cool, here's my dragon ruler. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I, there were a lot, I could have, I could have not been Moki. Uh, do you want to go for the game three? Oh, 100%. Okay, I love this okay, deck. Okay, cool. <laughs> for sure, for oh. sure. Listen, right. I said this in my deck profile. I knew there was a good chance I knew, but I'm just here to play a fun game of Yu-Gi-Oh with okay. my good friend Jess and my good friend Moki. You know, I am having I am having a good time. <laughs> I'm sorry about game two, but it was a fun combo. It's okay. Um, it's okay. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, how, I'm going second. I'm assuming. Yeah, I'll go first for sure. All right, Moki. One human last game. Wave, human wave tactics gets it done this time. It really does. I am gonna set two. I'm gonna set one, and I'm gonna pass. All right. Um. All right. Um. I am going to summon swarm of centipedes. Oh my god, that's so many centipedes! But this is a fucking Pac-Man monster. It's a literal Pac-Man monster. It's slightly better because it's like when flipped face up, but it is a Pac-Man monster. I can't believe we're playing Pac-Man in 2024, and I also can't believe that I drew Human Wave no! again! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what? I was wrong. There was no other way this series was ending. Uh, just, just none. Absolutely not a single one. We'll put my swarm of centipedes face down, and Sophie, uh, end phase is yours, baby. I will summon from my deck, Moki Moki! Similar to Jesus, Moki is back from the dead, folks. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god, what a draw! What is Holy th shit! No, um, it can't be a good draw! Stand by! Main! <laughs> I will normal summon White Dust on. <laughs> this is not the card I was excited about. <laughs> I will link off my White Dust on and my Moki Moki. Um. And we are gonna summon. It's gonna be the best card in the game, Defender of the Labyrinth. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> and now, Jess, my score servant may be dead, but his spirit still empowers me. I activate Try White! We're still on the skull servant cards. <laughs> to summon three level two or lower normal monsters from the graveyard. Folks, some of you oh, out there feel what? double white. This bitch is try white. <laughs> white dust on and my Moki. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we are fucking comboing. <laughs> and you know what? Actually, you know what? No, we need to... Uh... I, okay, okay, okay. I see the line. I see the line. I can't I'll, think- I'll, I, for one, can't think of any situation where my set uh, monster in face-down defense mode uh, Pac-Man card could uh, not come of use. So goddamn true. I'm gonna summon Recital Starling. <laughs> War Recital Starling, get me a nice follow-up lower feral, swallow. It is feral imps. For level one decks. It literally is. And then you know what's happening. I'm gonna link off my whole crew. <laughs> um it's just this guy turbo. Oh, and we are summoning this guy, baby. Good <laughs> luck putting my link monster face down. <laughs> the centipedes. But my centipedes. I end my turn. Um Let's get down to business. I will normal summon uh, Resonance Insect. Yup. Attack. <laughs> that is completely fine. Uh, we will add the guy. Mm-hmm. 
All right, main two, we're going to banish two from grave and one from hand. And mm -hmm. uh, the one from hand will be <laughs> the killer beetle. Great. Uh, Beargrum comes out. Um, we will declare Beargrum effect. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, first of all, you know, um, you can trigger the resonance effect if you want to. Um, and then if you do, I have something to change oh, that. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Um, the funny part is resonance. Oh, wait. And then in that case, before we're doing anything, we're actually yeah. guilty pulling. I keep fucking forgetting this is actually good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, shiny black sea squatter and goki pull pop. I'll protect and on resolution, I activate. DDD different dimension derby targeting bail groom. Oh, okay. 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 By the power of Smokey. Um, that's a little bit more worrisome. Uh, that's a tiny bit more concerning. Um, do we have anything in main two we can do here? Uh, things are starting to not exactly go our way. Uh, oh, so baby. I think we're better off just, like, being a little aggressive, um, putting these two in Graveyard, and just making the Dispatch Parazi. Yeah. <laughs> that's my- that's what I got versus the Link Bail Archfiend. Oh, fuck yeah. I'll draw for Tone. <laughs> now that your Bail Groom's out of here, let's see you deal with my- New and updated Moki Monarch strategy. <laughs> I'm gonna summon Guiding Light and activate its effect to summon Moki Moki. Yeah. I'll special summon Slow or Swallow. Yeah. And what am I gonna do with these funny little guys? Um. I don't know why I said that so fruity. <laughs> <laughs> I light, have I guess. guesses. <laughs> Ah, um, um, what if we just make this fucking guy? Actually, that would be slightly bad, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but you know, we love, we do love just making some guys. Here's what we're gonna do. You're just spamming out level one monsters. Overlay just... for Princess Sprite. Yeah. I will attempt to draw one card. You got it. I will not draw that, but you know, that's talk on and Bachi. <laughs> um... I will link away these two. Um, we're just gonna make the pet night, Ali, and now we have another Xyz in grave. Um, I think, um... Oh, but that still doesn't do much. Um... Yeah, we're, we're, we're chilling, uh, concerned. <laughs> we're chilling, concerned. Right. I'll go pit night, Ali, into the dispatch. Uh, huh? Yup. You've destroyed my pit knight. <laughs> yeah, half that monster's original attack. I gain 750. Huge. And take 1400. <laughs> e e uh, don't worry about it. I, I'm not worried. Are you worried? I'm not worried. I would never worry. <laughs> um, I'll go main phase 2, set 1, end phase, revive Artie. <laughs> oh my god, this thing is so hard to kill. Um, ooh, that's a good draw, though. I think it might still be too late, but we can try. Uh, Dino Wrestler Cola Silat. There it is. Uh, Goki Pool. Okay, okay. Alright, um, we will go ahead and, um, I mean, yeah, I think it is just gonna be... Uh, Garden Rose Flora. Uh, so a reminder that if you summon to the EMZ, you are summoning to my Audi zone. Uh, like I <laughs> said the first time here, mm -hmm. and we will go Goki Pull. Um, yeah. We will add from deck to hand Shiny Black Sea Squatter. Mm hmm. Hmm, wait, would that actually be better? Would that keep me alive a little bit longer? I don't think it would. I think. I don't think that's much better. I'm like considering another line, but I don't think we're gonna go for it probably. Um, yeah, I don't think we have the juice. Um, I don't think we have the meat, boys. Uh, yeah, just uh, sea squatter. Try to pop archfiend. Whoop. Yeah. Um, and you've got um, 
no more? So that's not terrible. Yeah, but I have no more protection at the moment. Yeah. I cannot believe I am disappointed in myself for not playing Gigantic Castle. <laughs> Let's go! Um... The... <laughs> I have a, I have a nine I can make. It doesn't beat this, but Gigantic Castle would. <laughs> oh, Amazing. No. Oh dear. <laughs> um, I would feel better if there was a way to get the fucking Pit Knight early off the board permanently, but there simply is not. <laughs> Good God. Um. Oh wait. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, is she cooking? Wait a minute. Hold up. Uh... Oh, I think this does. Uh... I think this does work. Actually. Oh. Um, attack pit night early. Um, yeah. Ow. Uh, main to end phase. I'll activate Audi. Sure. Summon. Chain sneaky C set it. <laughs> because it's the end phase. <laughs> this Pop up the board. This and early's walk. done it once per turn, so it actually doesn't come back, but I do Wait, lose, crazy. I do uh lose all my monsters, right? I can't do any shenanigans. Yeah. yeah. Okay! <laughs> oh, oh, Holy shit! Alright! <laughs> Oh my god. But yes, it's not over yet. It's it still an end phase. Not. Oh, I'll no. activate monster assortment. No! So you want a normal and effect monster with the same type, attribute, and level, and you randomly pick one for me to start. I'm oh, gonna reveal no. Moki Moki and Moki Moki Adrift. <laughs> oh. Hey, uh, Tails, it's Moki Adrift. Cool. Ahead, it's Moki. <laughs> Vanilla Moki Moki. <laughs> <laughs> Would you summon it and attack? What the fuck am I gonna do? Honestly. Trigger your humor wave tactics. I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. You know what? Fuck you, Zap. I summon Moki Moki. <laughs> Go, Moki Moki. Give her a Pokey Pokey. <laughs> Oh, my life points are looking low. This is probably correct. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, uh, okay. So, yeah, this is the third Goki pull. I will immediately spoil for you that we're out of vanilla normal, v yeah. uh, vanilla insects. But this no, my is life still point. just a searcher. Um, God, you know, I would have a lot of uh, recursion if I had a bear grum. That's the idea. Oh, In the man. end phase, I'll trigger all human wave tactics. <laughs> yes. For the second time this game. Oh, something white dust on. It's coming up! In a simplified <laughs> board state, this matters so much! It does! It matters in incredible- <laughs> Human wave tactics matters an incredible amount right now. You can um, link to into lethal. Yeah, I'm like... Oh, no. <laughs> I like... I think they can do this turn, but they're not that strong. I legitimately think my best line is just to play human wave tactics gaming <laughs> for one more turn. Okay, um, hmm, what does that and that do together? Oh, incredible. Um, at least human wave tactics is only by battle, so... Mm -hmm. We will... <laughs> we will normal summon, uh... B Trooper Assault Roller, and uh -huh. we will... Oh, does that discard? Please don't discard. Yeah, okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, we will link these two off uh, in order to uh, summon Steel Star Regulator. <laughs> Wait, this yeah. is a link three! <laughs> why, why, why would you do that to me, personally? <laughs> Shit. Um, True! What am I, what am I doing here? What's the play? <laughs> Why am I looking at a white dust on and feeling an encroaching uh, sense of dread? Why is that where the game is? 
Uh, why am I considering making the worst play of all time? <laughs> Folks, I- this doesn't look good. Um, the thing I'm about to do doesn't feel good, but I don't think I want to leave Sophie with a monster on her board, so I am going to Parasomnia Pillow, <laughs> the white dust on. <laughs> This is- is this the first time this card has come up? Is this the- I'm dying! Is this- is this where we're at? Oh, I'm dying! Oh, no. Um, I'm also considering- I actually do think I should, uh, su uh special summon this B Trooper mm -hmm. Assault Roller in defense mode. Yeah, that's um, fine. We're just, uh, we're going to end phase, killing your dust on. Get a zero attack token. Get a 1,000 defense token. It doesn't gain the defense, it's a zero, zero. No! <laughs> Let me have this! <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> uh, and you can just pop the parasol on the pillow. Okay, okay, but but imagine if I don't die. Imagine. Um, oh, you're still not gonna die immediately. It's a bit of an awkward draw in this situation, actually. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, I'm actually, I'm gonna dark world dealings. <laughs> <laughs> so real? Uh, oh, ah! no, it's, oh, no, it's oh! from, it's from field. God. I will discard Turbo Booster. Oh, uh, yeah. And I'll activate the card I drew. Try White. No! <laughs> Rise from your grave, my Moki Mokis. <laughs> Emperor Stove seconds ago. As Sophie's deck is full of vanillas, what the fuck is she gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> I activate Where Off Foul. No! <laughs> I will add from my deck to my hand guiding light. Oh, no. I will normal summon guiding light and activate its effect to summon the white <laughs> dust on. And I will overlay five monsters. <laughs> <laughs> And by the might of Moki, I will summon Lyrilesk, Assembled Nightingale. Wait, is this just lethal because it attacks directly a bunch? This card goes up to a thousand attack points and can attack directly five times. No! <laughs> Help! Go, Nightingale! By the power of Moki! Attack three times for my three Moki Mokis and end this duel. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Alright, well. Okay. I guess sometimes you do play the game three. Uh, folks. Yeah. Oh my god, there you are. I never even activated the new Moki Moki support. That's incredible. <laughs> God, that was, that was everything I dreamed it would be. Yeah. Um... Who fucking cares that I lost, you know? <laughs> Doing some goofy shit and losing is my signature move. Oh, no. Uh, that does uh, leave us at the end of sevens with uh, me at a score of 11 points and Sophie with a score of 10. Um, one point behind. Uh, but in the end, despite losing the season... <laughs> She banished Beargrum and then won with Moki Mokis. <laughs> Let's go! Oh no. Aww. But yeah, I am happy that this deck got to pop off as much as it did. Um, it is funny that we're in a place where, like, even with the 635 cards that are banned in this format... Uh, there's still just a lot of functional stuff, even at, like, yeah. the jank edges. Um, there, it's not really possible to, uh, ban all of the good synchro monsters. Like, May, imagine May Long being here, like, at almost any mm -hmm. other time. Um, and, uh, we didn't even see Pack Pit resolve. Yeah, no, for sure, like, no, I, I am glad you played this deck. Like, Belgroom is a sick boss monster who's just not quite good enough for Constructed. Glad we got to see him. Uh, speaking of sick boss monsters, I, this may just be me, but I fucking love 
um, link mail launched me. And I think it's such a cool call that that's always been shit. So I'm so happy <laughs> that is somehow the best Moki payoff in this format. <laughs> Oh no. Um uh yeah, Link Archmate Fiend has some solid protection and at this stage that's all you could really ask yeah. for. It's got solid protection and just like randomly does a bunch of attack decrease, which is a very funny thing to do in the year of our Lord 2024. Um also a uh, swarm of centipedes is so funny because they mm -hmm. this is the most recent pack. This is Phantom Nightmare. And they just printed almost like word for word what a uh, Pac-Man card would look like. Yeah, that, that, that's so funny. Like, you, we, you literally normal summoned a Pac-Man monster and it's half to set Moki Moki to trick our human <laughs> wave tactics. <laughs> In a 2024 Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, no. <laughs> so that is going to uh, do it for Double Progression Trouble. If there is anything to take away from the madness that you have witnessed over the course of this uh, series, from Moki's multiple showings to Insect Pile's multiple showings to the very many questionable decisions we have made this entire time, it's that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a huge trading card game and there is no shame in exploring outside of what konami uh creates for us to play in the tcg in master duel in duel links uh there are so many ways to play Yu-Gi-Oh. there are so many cards and so many strategies and if you are thinking about doing a deep dive and uh just trying to find jank and trying to find insane synergies and things to work with then all i can say is absolutely you should do it uh because it is one of the truest joys of this trading card game just the depths of the tens of thousands of cards um and if we can ban 635 Yu-Gi-Oh cards over the course of the series if <laughs> Six hundred and thirty-five cards can in some way come up and be relevant and be strong enough that we remove them from the format, and there's still enough left over that Sophie is able to make Link for Moki plays, <laughs> then who knows what the next thing will be to discover. Uh, whatever, whatever it is... Uh, I will continue to be here on this channel experimenting with these silly little formats uh, as long as I as long as I'm around, folks. Man, that was a lot. I think the message of this series is that Yu-Gi-Oh is good when your player base consists entirely of gay idiots. <laughs> <laughs> That was that was our um, end of series, like end of very first. Uh, uh, uh dual monsters uh saga where yugi is like here's the entire message of the series and joey's like hey okay but -da -da. and that's how the series ends <laughs> true uh so for one more time for fans of Yu-Gi-Oh, hey but -da -da. <laughs> this was double progression trouble the final score for the seven zero is sophie with 10 points to jess's 11. If you want to see what's next for this channel, go ahead and leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you also subscribe to Sophie Apparently by clicking on her name in the video title. For your fiscal support at various times over the course of this series, I want to sincerely thank June the Queen, Illusory Bee, Infernity Goat, Patson, Alex, Sophie, Emperor Stove, and many others. Thank you to Leah Full Bloom and I Wish TCG for your invaluable help with deck building throughout the course of the series. Thank you to RJ, MBT, Emperor Stove, and many others for pushing people in the direction of my silly little series. Thank you, Sophie Apparently, for going on this journey with me and rolling with my many rule changes as I figured out what I wanted the series to be. Finally, thank you, the viewer, for sticking this out and blessing this mess with your presence. Stick around for the season in review, and we'll meet again some sunny day.